Welcome to Tuber Chat. Whether you're working on your first 1,000, 2,000, or even 10,000 subscribers and beyond, you've come to the right place. We're going to introduce you to some of the most influential content creators that can help to get your channel moving beyond your first 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. The very first channel that we're looking at today is Tiffany Lavashark Johnson. And, um, pardon me, I'm typing and talking at the same time. I uh, should have thought about this. I could have wore the same hat that she's wearing from Uncle Mark the Shark, who's another generous creator. These two are found together all the time, but that makes Tiffany and I hat twins as well. Um, she's been an incredibly supportive creator on all of my channels, and um, I want to explain these kind of things just so that you know what kind of support you can expect back from the creators that we feature. We tend to feature a, a different channel at the beginning of almost every episode of Tuber Chat, and that's so that you can meet generous, loyal, and dedicated supporters even when we're not live streaming. Tiffany's got a bit of information on her About section here, and you can read about Tiffany, and she'll give us a little bit of an idea of what she might include in the channel. Otherwise, it's pure variety over here, and she has brought us shorts as well as live streams along with her videos. The shorts have gotten into 6,000 and 7,000 views, which is great to see. And, pardon me. When we look at her live streams, we see that usually she's outdoors taking us for a walk. I've caught her a few times now, uh, and she gives us a chance to get to know her as well while she does that. Now she's working on 1,400 subscribers. I'm hoping we can push her a little bit farther towards that milestone. Uh, this creator's been with us. I'm trying to think while I'm talking about how long we've known Tiffany Lavashark Johnson. It is a long time. I'm thinking two years. Uh, so forgive me if I'm mistaken. And there she is in the chat as well. So I hope everybody will connect with Tiffany Lavashark Johnson. And uh, let me spin the wheel. We'll get moving for today. I've got quite a few names on the wheel already. More to add yarn again. I know you were here early and thank you for coming back in. I caught them earlier today. Uh, well, I believe it was for a live stream. Stock Explorers coming up. Look at that. Nora. We know 100% for sure that the Stock Explorer has at least once been picked first on the Wheel of Doom. And Nora's been a dear friend for over three years now, part of our moderator squad. They're here as a member and a moderator. We're having a little conversation in the background of Tuber Chat. And one of the things we have to consider, because uh, the Stock Explorer is going to talk to us about finance on their channel, right? Um, when it comes, especially right now, is tax time for most people, at least in North America, it is. And um, we have to think about what we do with our YouTube channel, because after monetization, uh, your revenue can be classed as income. Now, I am not an accountant. I'm no financial authority, um, so I don't want you to take anything that I say as gospel, and I don't even want to be considered as recommendations. I happen to use an accountant, but I was using an accountant long before um, doing Tuber Chat or YouTube or any of this stuff. And um, it doesn't have to break the bank. It doesn't have to be expensive. I believe for almost anybody, as soon as you get into, let's say, even your second, first, second year of monetization, it might be worth a consultation just to see. I can't give advice, even from my own experience, because I'm in Canada, and it makes up a small portion of what we have on YouTube for an audience for most channels. Um, but there are things you may be able to do um, when it comes to claiming expenses. I happen to be self-employed. I have been my whole life. Even when I take a full-time job, I still am doing things on the side. So things are a little bit different for me than they would be for somebody typically uh, having you know, either a single job or job after job. And then, you know, having your taxes taken out of all of your income right away and not really having to worry about it. You might even get returns at the end of the year from the government for from overpaying. Somebody like myself is more in a situation where I would owe at the end of a year more often than not. But there's lots of things that accountants can do to help uh, and make sure that you don't end up with shock at the end of the year. But I just mentioned that because... It's something uh, Nora and I are kind of touching on in a conversation. I'm very lucky to be able to call this creator a true friend. Uh, Nora is somebody who cares very much about her own community on YouTube and those of us in the Tuber Chat. 
family. So I'm going to talk about her content in a moment, but I got to load up the wheel with some more names. We'll do some more introductions. I am uh, really dragging it today. Uh, the Gaming Summerham, uh, thank you for the super chat. I really do appreciate that extra generous support. They've done that before, and for that reason, I'm going to put their channel up on the screen next before I spin the wheel again. I'm just putting Rambling with the Brooms on the wheel right now. I'm hoping to meet that creator in a couple of days. We're gonna get together on Saturday for a meal. We might even have another couple of YouTubers with us. Um, P&J's Homestead Adventure is here. And um, yeah, the Gaming Summerham, I got tripped up by your uh, name change there. Um, I got quite a few names on the wheel. Scratch and PPA, of course, is in the pole position. He is known as one of the most supportive creators I've met in my YouTube journey. Nora certainly fits that description. All of our moderators do. Uh, they've been dear friends a long time. Fairbrook Studio and Pam's Cozy Crochet Nook are early in the door and at the top of the wheel. Thank you for the thumbs up reminders too, because I know we got lots of friends doing that. Chris's Creation Fun and his wife Tiffany from Canadian Family Life are both on the wheel. Creative Beauty Butterfly and Home Bartending with John. We're both early in the door. Silver Assassin Metal Detecting and Jennifer Ocean Homestead are both here. The Bud Files and Yarn Again are already on the wheel. Now, if I'm missing any of our members, I'll get them on right away. Nanny Tam, good to see you here. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Mama Four Boys is in the house. Angelic Warrior 37, a.k.a. Mrs. M, is back in the house. And Silent Silver is with us. Bella's Whisper Farmstead is here. It's me, Angie, and Gielman are both in the house. And hopefully I haven't missed anybody. As long as everybody's still active, we should get around to everybody. And you're reading that right. Today is episode number 701. So the other day we did another special edition. Uh, very much similar to what we usually do. Spinning the wheel, looking at channels. But we added in a couple of things. Uh, I usually do something special on our 100 milestones. And we did a giveaway of sorts. And then as well, I featured a couple of clips of some never-before-seen footage from an upcoming podcast video series that will be released here on the Tuber Chat channel in the coming weeks. And if you wanted to go back and see, there's two uh, very special clips in episode 700. One is about an hour in and the other one is at about an hour and 45 minutes. But they give you a little bit of a teaser about what to expect. A lot of the things we've been wishing for for a long time, which is advice from some of our friends who are long beyond 10,000 subscribers. Uh, that's basically what the video series is about. So I'm excited to have that content for everybody and hopefully you'll Look forward to that as well. Tales Told in the Dark is in the house. Cats for Nelson is here. I'm going to get them both onto the wheel. They both happen to be members. And we will talk about Nora's content. So this is the Stock Explorer. And Nora does a lot more than talking about stocks. But when they do, they talk about... Um, uh, everything from beginner tutorials to advanced topics in a level-headed and down-to-earth way. Uh, and they bring us everything, including uh, options trading. We talk occasionally about NFTs when we're talking crypto. They've really expanded the content on the channel. they got a bit of variety, but when they're talking stocks, particularly in their videos, you'll see that Nora often has product in hand. I've seen this creator go as far as to invest in a stock, order a product from the company, and then unbox that product on a live stream, which was, I thought was really cool. And then um, sometimes there are charts and graphs for us to see. Often there is friendly conversation. They've got some shorts that have really done well, where just any second now, this one shorts video that they've got is going to hit 10,000 views. And it's going to be exciting because I haven't said this for a long time, but one of the things I like to mention is the idea that most of the things that happen on YouTube, if not all, it's always the first time it happens. So when you have a video that hits 1,000 views, it's the first time that happens and you have have more excitement as your YouTube journey goes on. This is going to be the first shorts video for the Stock Explorer to hit 10,000. That'll be an exciting milestone. But we've been watching that one for a while. Like most creators, Nora brings a lot of variety into her shorts videos. Um, Mama Four Boys, I think I said hello. I don't mean to miss anybody. Uh, Big Boy Snacks Johnny TV is in the house. 
And uh, Tommy Temper, our dear friend from Edmonton, is in the house, and thank you for coming in. I know your channel is growing rapidly, bro. I see uh, often. I'm usually on the Tuber Chat channel. When I'm in my personal one, I go and see Tommy Temper because we've been connected now for a couple of years, um, and he does a lot of content on his own and a lot of restreaming with permission, of course, um, from a lot of creators, but he does a lot of helping to uh, connect people as well. And then Savage Batman, good to see you in the house. Thanks for the like and share. Huga Homestead, thank you. I know you're here earlier, so thank you for coming back in. They're a longtime friend. I think Huga Homestead's been with us for almost three years now. They're one of the very first homesteading channels to come through uh, the Tuber Chat family. So uh, when we talk about Nora, the Stock Explorer, on the screen right now, we see live streams. And sometimes they're talking stocks and crypto. Sometimes they are having friendly conversation. I actually joined them once on their channel for a couple of hours. We we're talking YouTube. And then as well, they do a lot of lottery ticket scratching with other creators. Occasionally they'll have happy mail. They share that and they do a lot of shout outs for creators. The Stock Explorer is really doing well right now because their live chat is one of the fastest that you'll find in the tuber chat family faster than this faster than most others they rival those of garden state gardener or scratch and ppa and a few others uh and then cats for nelson we don't do links here uh as much as a lot of other channels do um there's a couple of reasons but one of those is that when we search find and click on each other's names we're really helping each other rise up the search results so that youtube will eventually do a better job of predicting when we're looking for each other's channels um and the channels that are hardest to find are the ones that need our help the most but for 99 percent of the people you see come through the tuber chat live streams here their channel name and their account name are exactly the same so if you just search exactly what their name is here they should come up right away almost every creator comes up uh Number one for their name, uh, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Good to see you in the house, Susan. Uh, forgive me, I was in your stream and I did let it run. I think I let it run completely out, but I was working at the same time. I know you had Gail on there from Broken, Broken Hearts Ministry. She's a longtime dear friend as well. I was on the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch's uh, channel just a couple of weeks ago as well. Hopefully everybody will go back and check that replay because we were looking forward to getting together for a long time. Uh, but I always enjoy my time in Susan's live streams. As I do with Nora, the Stock Explorer, and now the Gaming Summer Ham is on the screen. Um, for one second here, we should talk about playlists. If you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat, please just simply say, I am willing to swap playlists. Other creators should reach out to you. And if you see somebody say that and you're willing... Please reach out to them. Everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually, of course. And uh, Jevin Richardson has a birthday coming up. When is? Let us know when your birthday is. For anybody that has special occasions on YouTube, if you're going to do a stream, especially the monetization celebration, uh, please make sure that I know when that is, if you can. Um, I try to make it for people's birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. But I try to make sure I am never uh, missing anybody's monetization celebrations. Tommy Temper, forgive me, I didn't put you on the wheel yet. I'm going to do that right this second. And uh, the Gaming Summer Ham has just changed their name slightly, but this creator's been a longtime friend as well. They post occasionally, but it looks like they might have a couple of new videos. We'll have a look and see what they've been up to. 264 subscribers. Hopefully we'll have some new content soon. They've got some shorts on the channel. They did some 3D printing in the beginning. They give us a chance to get to know them as well. And I see some live streams. So yes, they do have new content, quite a few over the last couple of days, which is great. So I'm going to take one of these replays. I'm going to put this into a special playlist I have called Catch Up, and that's going to give me a chance to catch up with you a little bit. And um, playlists can be a great tool for that. And thank you again for another super chat. The Gaming Summer Ham has done that countless times before. For that reason, we put them on the screen right away. Now we're back to spinning the wheel. For anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time, hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. 
everybody will be willing to connect so please don't be shy you can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat and if you take your time meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description you'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like travel escape with the broom brooms part of me travel escape with the brooms am i right or no oh my dear goodness I think it was Travel Escapes with the Brooms. Why don't I remember what that is now again? Um, pardon me. Rambling with the Brooms. Is Scott. Uh, he is another fellow Canadian from closer to our nation's capital. And hopefully I'm going to meet up with this creator uh, on Saturday, actually. We haven't decided what we're doing about streaming yet, but uh, we'll see. I wonder if Scott might do that. I'll always be ready, of course, I'm sure. Uh, Native Wildman, thank you for a super chat, by the way. Just Jason Keto and more. Forgive me, I didn't put you on the wheel yet, but I've got you on there now. Um, and it might be a bit of a surprise as well. Um, we're um, unsure of exactly who might be with us, but uh, there might be more to the story than myself and um, Scott as well. We're trying to build up a table of uh, friends to get together for a meal. And thank you, The Gaming Summer Ham. Yes. Um, thank you for letting us know what's going on. So uh, Rambling with the Brooms is a longtime friend. This is Scott and, like I said, another fellow Canadian. Uh, he's got a new video here, Maple Syrup Season. I'm just going to grab the latest video, put that in my catch-up list. I've actually hung out with him while he was in the Sugar Shack, just meaning I was in his live stream while he was in the Sugar Shack making, pardon me, some of that maple syrup. Thank you, Michael's Adventures. Um, uh, thank you, Cats for Nelson. Michael's Adventures is another... Um, beloved and dedicated moderator he can't be here every day just due to his work schedule but he's popping in quickly might be on a lunch break but thank you for that uh rambling with the brooms as a member and a moderator this creator um brings us a lot of homesteading style content um again from canada so he's got all four seasons as well when we get into the shorts videos on the channel you'll see some of that famous canadian winter weather he's gotten into uh, up to almost eight thousand views on these shorts which is great to see uh Rochick beauty good to see you here from the uk uh rambling with the brooms is monetized lots of ways to support him including super chats and memberships when we get there he's got a couple of series of live streams every thursday is procrastination thursday and every friday is um, sh shenanigan Fridays and those have been going on for as long as I remember but sometimes Scott will do a pop-up especially if he's taking a road trip or doing something exciting like the solar eclipse last week and everything else um, now rambling with the brooms is working on a lot of collaborations with other creators and this creator now is a, a moderator on dozens of channels if not hundreds he is an advocate for helping others grow and especially when he finds channels under 100 subscribers. So you can meet more friends and family members when you're with any of our moderators on this channel. They all have an uh, overwhelming sense of generosity and they all allow people to connect during their live streams and premieres the same way that we do here. Uh, Rock Chick Beauty, thank you for that super chat. I really do appreciate that extra generous support. I'm gonna get your channel up on the screen right after Native Wild Man. And uh, I should see if our robots are working. I tried resetting stream elements again. They've been updating a bunch of stuff and it, it breaks all of their systems. It's uh, probably my favorite chatbot if I had to pick one. So I get very disappointed when it doesn't want to work. And then um, hopefully I'm not missing anybody in the chat. As long as everybody's still active, we should get around to everybody. And uh, the chat's rolling fast, so thank you everybody for that as well. An overwhelming beginning to our stream today. Botrix is here, Nightbot is missing, Stream Labs is missing, Stream Elements. Oh, there you are. Yes, okay, they're, they're here. Uh, Botrix is in the house. Pardon me while I'm thinking out loud here. Um, stream Labs doesn't seem to be around. Oh, my dear goodness. All right, I'll have to look at that in the background. And then, uh, ram pardon me, Rambling with the Brooms. I was saying this creator collaborates with a lot of other channels as well. Um, and 
They've got a special project coming up, actually, in August of 2025. They've got a cruise coming up that will be um, featuring, hopefully, 100 rooms worth of creators and supporters. He's putting that together with Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa. And um, these creators obviously are generous, loyal, and dedicated supporters. Travel Escapes with the Brooms is a new travel channel from Scott. He's got a couple of videos on there now, more to come soon. And uh, hopefully everybody will support him on both channels. Uh, Sharon and Jackson, good to see you here. And forgive me for not being sure. I know I've seen your channel the last couple of days, not just here in Tuber Chat, but out supporting others as well. And is that a channel that I already know that has been renamed? Um, I think so, without looking at it. And then, uh, if I'm mistaken, then hopefully you're feeling welcome here. Yeah, I wonder if that was Sharon Rowland. Um, but forgive me if I'm mistaken. Over 50 and fabulous. Good to see you in the house. Thank you for the thumbs up. Cruising Scene is here. Uh, I think Controversial Cruising just came in too. Am I mistaken? Let me have a look. Pardon me while I try to catch up with the chat here. Cruising Scene, I've got you on the wheel. They happen to be a member. We always put members on the wheel as soon as we see them in the chat. Doris Corner, good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming in. Everybody here is uh, ready to support each other. So if you're brand new to Tuber Chat or if you've only been here once or twice, then hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here and you can reach out to anybody at all, but we have instructions in our video description to get help you get the most value for your time here and understand how we connect authentically so that we be have the best chance of uh, continuing our support for each other over the long term. TNT's Adventures to Sea. Good to see you in the house as well. And there they are, Controversial Cruising. Yes, I did see you come in. So thank you for that. Wayne's World Unlimited is here from the UK as well. And... Uh, pardon me while I catch up here. Native Wildman is coming up in a moment. If I've missed anything in the chat that anybody's meant for me to see, like a question or a comment, just please mention it again with three thumbs up or at mention Tuber Chat Connect and Grow. That should help me see it a little bit easier. I'll keep my eyes open and hopefully catch it the next time around. And then, uh, yes, I said Native Wild Band will come up right now. I'll get that done. They dropped a super chat, so thank you for that. I really do appreciate that extra generous support. And uh, Rock Chick Beauty did the same thing, so they'll be coming up next. And when we look at Native Wild Man, we're likely going to see some new content. This is Sean Wilson. They give us a bit of information about them on their About page. They do have a few new videos over the last couple of weeks. I'm behind. I'm just going to grab the latest one. I'm going to put that in my catch-up list. That'll give me a chance to catch up with the channel and see what you've got in this Herbs and Flowers video. And when I look at the shorts on Native Wild Man, I see that these have gotten into 2,500 views and beyond, one over 5,800, which is great to see. And then I also notice that they're officially on the road to 1K. We always say a channel's officially on the road when they hit a 100 milestone. Since Native Wild Man is well beyond 900 now, that puts them officially on the road to 1,000, which is an exciting milestone in everybody's YouTube journey, of course. Thank you for that, Sharon and Jackson. Cruising on the high seas and travel. Uh, thank you for your super chat. I really do appreciate that extra generous support. We're going to put your channel up on the screen right after Rock Chick Beauty for that reason, and then we will get back to spinning the wheel. Um, and then, yeah, Wayne's World Unlimited is working uh, like crazy right now, so thank you for that. And uh, forgive me for anything I miss in the chat. If anybody uh, meant for me to see anything, again, just to give that three thumbs up or at mention me, and uh, I should be able to see it. Uh, Native Wildman, forgive me, I'm butchering everybody's promotions today uh, because the chat's flying, so thank you, everyone. Canadian Family Life is sending in a super chat as well for Nanny Tam. Thank you for that. I'm going to put that channel up on the screen right after cruising on the high seas and travel. And then we'll look at Canadian Family Life and her husband's channel right after that. 
uh, and we'll get back to spinning the wheel. Bio Bengal Fantasy Network brings us fantasy football. Good to see you in the house. And when we look at Native Wildman, again, shorts have done well getting into live streams. We see that these have come up up to a few months ago. So we'll see if they're going to continue those. And we've always got notification bells on for every single channel that's in the spirit of doing as much as we possibly can for each other. Mine Forked is here. I'm going to put them on the wheel. We're going to go for a three-minute break. We're going to come right back. When we do, we're going to look at Rock Chick Beauty and then continue with our list. We'll get back to spinning the wheel soon. If you haven't already given a thumbs up for today's live stream, I hope you will. They really do help. I hope everybody's always giving each other that thumbs up when you're out supporting each other. If you're on a phone, I know you have to turn the chat off to get that done, but you don't lose your place. It only takes a moment. I will appreciate it greatly. Even I have to be reminded to give that thumbs up from time to time, especially when I'm on a phone. All right, we're back and looking at Rock Chick Beauty. This is a creator who's been a friend of long over three years, more like three and a half, getting closer to four. 
uh, and they come to us from the UK. They're almost at 1,300 subscribers. I'm hoping we can push them a little bit farther towards that milestone. Another generous, loyal, and dedicated supporter. You saw them drop a super chat, so we put their channel up on the screen right away. We'll get back to spinning the wheel shortly. We got another couple of channels to go through. Huga Homestead, uh, who's a long, long, long time friend. And I can tell you an over-the-top generous, loyal, and dedicated supporter dropped a question in the chat and asked anybody if we know whether it messes up the algorithm, and I like the way you said that, um, when we watch videos at a different speed. Um, some of you know that you can change the speed while you're watching videos on YouTube. What I believe that that's meant for is almost like speed reading, right? Some people can read a book really, really fast, um, but we have to learn to do that. On YouTube, we could just pump up the speed of the video and get through it a small bit faster. I find that it works really well with podcasts. I listen to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts, and when you have somebody that speaks fairly slowly... It can help to punch that up a little bit. Now, I can't be 100% sure just not being a Google engineer, and I wouldn't believe one even if they were sitting in front of me, actually, if I asked them. But my bet is that YouTube and the server and the algorithm and everything else knows everything that we do. So I believe that if you push the... If you were to push the speed of the videos you're watching, let's say you're watching or running a playlist, my bet is that the person is only going to get the watch hours that are true. So no matter what the speed is that you have the videos running at, if they're only running for three hours, let's say instead of four hours, I believe they're only going to get three hours of watch time. So I always just leave them on normal speed and um you know what we're doing just speeds it up quick enough but again i can't be sure i know we're always looking for efficiencies and and ways that can try to help especially when it comes to the idea of generosity and helping others but this is just my own thought my bet is that youtube knows so there's there's therefore almost no point right i would just let it go um on normal speed if that's the intention if you're trying to help with watch hours the sunday dinner chef good to see you in the house hopefully i haven't missed anybody coming into the chat rock chick beauty is up here right now this creator talks about all things alternative she started with beauty and has gotten into a lot of product reviews unboxings and now sponsored videos this creator has got a brand new video from yesterday i'm going to put this into my catch-up list that'll give me a chance to keep caught up with them one of the things you'll notice about rock chick beauty especially if you get to their about page you'll see that they reset and restarted their channel just over three years ago the idea is could you come back stronger and more solidly the second time around and you can see that she's done that with professional looks to all of her thumbnails and bright bold headshots that will make her recognizable as well um, she's incredibly supportive to other creators and monetize lots of ways to support her including super chats and memberships when we get there when we get to her shorts videos we see that these have gotten into 1800 2800 views now and live streams have gotten into um uh, she does these occasionally so we usually see Rock Chick Beauty live once a month, sometimes once every two months. But we always keep the notification bell on for every single channel. That's in the spirit of doing as much as we can for each other and making sure we catch as much content from each other as we can as well. So thank you, Rock Chick Beauty, for another super chat. She's done that countless times uh, for which i'm grateful of course for that reason we put our channel on the screen right away cruising on the high seas travel did the same thing so we're going to look at their channel right now we'll get to spinning the wheel soon we got a couple more channels to go through uh globies travels i've got you on the wheel thank you for coming in and hopefully i haven't missed anybody in the chat and if anybody wants me to clarify anything that i talk about because i tend to go through things uh, lightning fast just let me know and then um Cruising on the high seas and travel is talking about cruise news, cruise vlogs, and travel news, vlogs as well. When we look at their videos, we see that they've got a few new things here. This is a channel I'm still getting to know. So I'm going to grab their second latest video. It's just a minute longer than the latest one, and I, you know, every minute matters, right? So I'll grab this video, I'll put this into my catch up list right now. And I wonder, are these creators Canadian? 
I'm curious because I saw a Tim Hortons uh, video, which of course was suggested for me, but uh, Mucho Burrito, I think I recognize that too. So, oh yeah, so they're right here. They're actually very close to um, to myself, not too far from uh, Toronto, actually. Um, 777 subscribers right now. We'd love to push them a little bit farther towards the 800. We know they're thinking about um, cruising on the high seas travel. Pardon me, cruising on the high seas and travel has gotten some shorts into 1,800 and 2,400 views, which is great to see. And then live streams on the channel. They got quite a few of these ready to go. I've got notifications set for about six of them and they'll be coming up starting tomorrow and they do these approximately once a week we can see by the dates there we go the new pizza at tim hortons i haven't even heard of that uh, i don't think i have i tend to go uh, through the drive through and i keep ordering the same thing all the time when i'm there so i don't go inside and actually see if they've got anything new i'll have to look and then uh, Jevin Richardson. So the idea about swapping playlists means that it's a simple arrangement where you can agree to run an entire playlist of somebody else's videos and they can agree to run an entire playlist of your videos as well. You can imagine that when a lot of other people run your playlist, your watch hours are really gonna start to grow and you can help others with the same thing. But the magic comes in the idea of the friendship that is made with another creator when you make that arrangement. So over time, as you build true friends that have traded favors, your watch hours are going to grow exponentially because the creators whom you have helped will be there for most of what you're going to come up with uh, moving forward as well. And then uh, that's rambling with the brooms. I think they're inviting... Um, uh, pardon me, where did the name of the channel go again? We were just looking at it. Cruising the High Seas and Travel? Yes, I think they were inviting them to dinner. Because we're going to be going on uh, Saturday. Yeah, there, there they are. And then, oh, the pizza started today. Oh, that's what the video's about then. I see. Thank you, uh, Cruising on the High Seas and Travel. That's dangerous for me because... Um, yeah, I tend to not give myself enough time and I grab too much of that stuff. Tim Hortons and everything else. If I know there's pizza there, that's going to become a habit. Um, so if anybody needs me to clarify about swapping playlists, just ask again in the chat and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Um, and then Nanny Tam is up on the screen. Now, Canadian Family Life dropped a super chat so that we would look at this channel. And we've seen creators do that many times before. It's an incredibly generous thing to do. I certainly appreciate the support here. I'm sure Nanny Tam will be happy to have the channel up on the screen. Now, um, this is a channel I'm still getting to know as well. I just met them outside the other day. I see they've been a part of a big collaboration that I've seen a lot of thumbnails from. Um, which is great. Good to collaborate with other creators. I'm just going to grab one of your latest videos about building a deck. I actually had to build one last summer. I'm going to put this in my um, catch-up list and that will give me a chance to watch another piece of content. One of the things I like about putting channels on the screen here in Tuber Chat is that over time I get to know the channels over weeks and months by hanging out in premieres and live streams and watching videos I get to know the content and if you want to connect on the outside social networks I'm always happy to get to know creators in that way as well I'm on Instagram all the time Facebook most of the time Twitter some of the time also and then yeah Jennifer Ocean Homestead today is episode 701 we had a special edition on Sunday and then I had to push this stream uh, my outdoor work season has started a little bit earlier than the last couple of years um, so I have to shuffle if we're going to do live streams during the week. And I want to try to keep up with what we would we have been doing. We don't have a set schedule. The live streams, you know, come and go here and there. I used to keep them on specific days and change the times. But now they're kind of all over the place. And uh, we'll try to keep that going. So like, for instance, I used to never be around on Fridays. It's a very difficult day for me. However, I have an opportunity to stream this Friday night. So we'll do that. And then I'm in the Eastern time zone, of course. So when I say night, it means it's night for me. And then uh, Nanny Tam's got some shorts here as well. One of them at 27,000. 
which is great to see. So uh, I'll be looking forward to more of that. Danny Tam's at 208 subscribers. We'd love to push them towards the 300 they're thinking about. And thank you, Tiffany, from Canadian Family Life for dropping a super chat so that we could look at Nanny Tam's channel earlier. We'll get back to spinning the wheel in a moment. But we're going to look at Tiffany's channel and her husband, Chris's Creation Fun, and see what they've got going on. For anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time, hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. Everybody will be willing to connect, so please don't be shy. You can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat, and if you take your time, meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description. You'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like. And uh, Backyard Trucker is in the house. I'm going to put them on the wheel right now. I forgot to add a, a couple of sections to the wheel. I'll do it in a moment. Um, Canadian Family Life is going to bring us another channel that I like to consider from the homesteading community of channels because they bring us a mix of indoor, it's mostly indoor content, but they do a fantastic container uh, gardening series on their channel if we want to call it that they just have this immaculate uh, and impressive in my opinion container garden and i group a lot of channels together when i talk about homesteading here in tuber chat where we talk about gardening farming ranching fishing hiking camping and almost anything that can bring some outdoor content actually this channel's had success with outdoor shorts we'll look at those in a moment so let's have a look at their latest video. I'm going to put this into my catch-up list. Um, they just put this up right before Tuber Chat or at the same time. Um, and Canadian Family Life is Tiffany. You recognize this creator likely because she is featured on a lot of other creators' channels. She brings grocery hauls, a lot of cooking videos more and more lately. And then a uh, happy mail video, shout outs for other creators, and then a chance to get to know the family as well. Shorts on this channel, like I said, the outdoor shorts have done really well, 2,500, even 5,500 views on one of these. And then live streams are something that Tiffany from Canadian Family Life does occasionally, again, about once a month or so, but we've always got notification bells on so we can catch as much content from each other as we can and catch each other's live streams and premieres as often as we can as well when we look at Canadian family life um, we know that they're from New Brunswick we're gonna look at their husband's channel right now Chris's creation fun um, and this channel brings us 3d printing and do-it-yourself videos uh, this creator actually was recently fixing the 3d printer not to mention a um, some solar equipment and then recently they've been doing some more 3d printing so we're looking forward to more content chris's creation fun renamed their channel once to encompass more variety and this creator is getting very close to the first 100 subscribers at 93 right now they got a few shorts out there but those are starting to get into the hundreds of views which is great to see and hopefully everybody will connect with both canadian family life and her husband chris's creation fun will spin the wheel now and see who's coming up next thank you one more time tiffany if you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat please just simply say i am willing to swap playlists other creators should reach out to you and if you see somebody say that and you're willing please reach out to them everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually of course so the hillbilly chicken ranch is coming up right now but i'm just going to add a couple of sections onto our wheel that I forgot to do uh, during our break there. So I'm gonna add a section called add a name. And what that will allow me to do is add a name to our wheel from our chat list based on who's been most actively engaged in conversation over the course of the stream a little bit earlier than I otherwise might have. And Infinity Girl Gamer 20, good to see you in the house. Thank you for coming in. She's a longtime friend as well. And uh, Chris's Creation Fun, we were just about to look at the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Pardon me while I'm like falling behind here. 
If I've missed anything in the chat that anybody's meant for me to see, like a question or a comment, just please mention it again with three thumbs up or at mention Tuber Chat Connect and Grow. That should help me see it a little bit easier. I'll keep my eyes open and hopefully catch it the next time around. And then pardon me for one second here while I got my face in my phone. I just want to um, clarify something here. And um, anybody can reach out anytime. Like I said, I'm on Instagram all the time, Facebook most of the time, Twitter some of the time as well. I usually wait until after Tuber Chat to check messages unless the moderators need to get a hold of me for something or if I need to ask somebody something. And then uh, Dora's Corner, yeah, everybody's here to help everybody. And the way that we do things here in Tuber Chat, we think about generosity at the forefront of our mind, realizing that the best success comes from supporting others first, doing all the things that we wish they would do for us, and then letting them know that we've connected with them, knowing that they'll do it for us right afterwards. Um, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch is here. This is Susan and somebody I joined on her channel actually just a couple of weeks ago. She's got a brand new uh, Thrifty Fun Grocery Haul video. I'm going to put this into my catch-up list. She comes to us from the homesteading community of channels as well. Mostly indoor content, a little bit of outdoor talk as well. Uh, this creator will get into canning, preserving, talking about thrifty ideas. Uh, and, uh, you know, who's not up for saving a little bit of money here and there as well. Uh, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch will show us how to organize, keep things contained. When we look at their shorts videos, we see that these have gotten into 2,400 views and beyond. One over 6,200 now. A lot of these are recent. Um, these couple of shorts that they had here at 700 and 800 with the eggs and the thumbnails were the top two performers for a long time. And they've already had six go past that. So that's great. I'm always happy to see creators that are experiencing growth in every aspect of their channel, right? Now, um, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch goes live every Wednesday morning. I was lucky to catch her this morning with Gail. Like I said, I was working at the same time. I'm not sure at what point I jumped in, but I would have run that right through. Uh, and I actually joined um, Hillbilly Chicken Ranch the other day and we were with Milk Honey Heritage Farms as well, that's Heather, and that was a nice conversation as well. That went on for two hours, actually, which is typical because I never stop talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, but we were talking about all kinds of different things there. Um, I always enjoy my time in Susan's live streams. Uh, I think this is a creator with whom I share a lot of the same values, but she gives us a platform in her live streams where we can talk and conversate about some of the newsworthy ideas that are coming through um, that are popular, let's just say. Um, so hopefully everybody will enjoy connecting with the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. She will bring us devotionals. She'll bring us other guests, some music, and inspire us in a spiritual way on the channel. She's monetized lots of ways to support her, including Super Chats and memberships when we get there. Let's spin the wheel. We'll see who's coming up next. Our treasured home. Good to see you in the house. If you haven't already given a thumbs up for today's live stream, I hope you will. They really do help. I hope everybody's always giving each other that thumbs up when you're out supporting each other. If you're on a phone, I know you have to turn the chat off to get that done, but you don't lose your place. It only takes a moment. I will appreciate it greatly. Even I have to be reminded to give that thumbs up from time to time, especially when I'm on a phone. Cats for Nelson is a fairly new channel in the Tuber Chat family. They've just been with us a couple times or a few times now. They're already um, doing really well with subscribers and monetize. Lots of ways to support them, including Super Chats and memberships when we get there. Lots of information on their About page. And then when we look at videos, we see that they've even put a few out in the last couple of weeks. I'm just going to grab the latest one. They tend to be quite short. I'll put that in my catch-up list. That'll give me another piece of content to watch. Then when we look at shorts videos on this channel, we see that some of these have done extremely well, getting into 28,000, 36,000, one at 232,000, and another at 300. And 91,000. That thumbnail is spectacular, actually. Uh, and then <laughs> live streams. I can't help but laugh. That is an amazing look. Um, live streams on the channel as well are something they've experimented with. Uh, it looks like they're doing these frequently as well. So hopefully everybody will connect with Cats for Nelson. 
and um, I'm looking forward to getting to know more about the channel as well. What we'll do right now, we'll go for another um, three and a half minute break. We'll go just a minute early here. I'll spin the wheel. We'll see who's coming up next. It looks like it's going to be Jennifer Ocean Homestead, and we'll look at her channel as soon as we get right back. All right, we're back. We're going to look at Jennifer Ocean Homestead. I know you mentioned earlier in the stream you were driving yesterday and ended up missing the um, our on Sunday when we did our episode 700. Um, now, I appreciate every moment everybody can spend. I know not everybody can be here every day and for hours at a time. You know, the whole reason, uh, there's two reasons why I mix up the schedule here on Tuber Chat. The biggest reason I'd like to think is because it helps us meet new creators from different time zones and things like that gives people uh, from all over the world a chance to be here, right? Our Australian friends can't always be here because I'm in the Eastern time zone. Our friends from the UK, sometimes it gets very late for them, for instance. Um, but I also have, you know, my own obligations, whether it's work, whether it's family and other things to shuffle around. Uh, but the episode 700, I am appreciative of whoever was there. In retrospect, I probably could have done a 
I probably could have done it on Saturday and it might have accommodated a few more people, but we'll keep that in mind. I'll do what I can when the anniversary comes up. Our four-year anniversary is in just over two weeks from now. Um, and we've got some special brand new content coming. Uh, podcast video series here on the Tuber Chat channel. We've never done videos before, but I have enlisted the help of a couple of creators to bring um, fantastic content for us. They're creators who've been with us in the Tuber Chat family for some period of time and passed their 10,000 subscribers so that we can learn what it takes to strive a little bit farther towards those 10,000, 20,000, and eventually 100,000 milestones. Um, so I hope everybody will look forward to that. I played a couple of clips during the 700 uh, episodes, so if you want to go back and see that replay, they're about one hour in and one hour and 45 minutes in, uh, but you'll find them pretty easily. And then Jennifer Ocean Homestead is up on the screen right now, 134 subscribers. We'd love to push this creator a little bit farther towards the 200 we know that they're thinking about. And I see they've got another couple of videos. They put one out a few days ago. They got a brand new one today. I'm going to put this one into my catch-up list. That's a playlist I use to keep caught up with creators. Playlists can be a great tool for that. And um, typically on homesteading channels, we'll see a lot of outdoor content with a mix of indoor content as well. They give us a lot of information about the channel and what we can expect. Uh, they also are from New Brunswick as well, not too far, I believe, from our friends uh, Canadian Family Life and Chris's Creation Fund. When we look at Jennifer Ocean Homestead, we see also that they've got some shorts here that have already gotten into almost a thousand views and won over 5,000, 5,200, which is great to see. Our new land, good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming in. I'm always doing well, uh, but thank you for asking. Hopefully you are too. We'll spin the wheel. We'll get another channel ready to go. And we'll see what's happening with uh, Home Bartending with John. This creator has been a Selver member for as long as I can remember. And what that means is that we see his channel every single day in those slides that run at the beginning, middle, and end of every live stream. Uh, whether he's here or not, but Home Bartending with John is here with us for just about every stream, for which I'm grateful. Uh, Rem's family is your neighbor as well, Jennifer Ocean Homestead says. So uh, quite a few friends over there in New Brunswick, which is great to see. I had not, um, to be honest with you, had the idea of traveling across Canada on my mind until we started the YouTube journey. Because I always like to like head across the border and get into the United States and this and that. But now we've got so many friends around here that I might have to think about that. I've not been on a train either. I went here, let's do a silly poll. I couldn't get this working the other day on my channel. I forgot how to do it because um, I was outdoors. But what we'll do is we'll do a poll. Have you... Do they, I wonder if they call them, Sam would know, um, ever taken a rail... Way trip. We'll put it that way, right? A, way, a railway trip. Um, because I'm just curious to know how many people have actually been on a train uh, for a trip, whether it's like, you know, we think of it as a road trip or some people might fly places and things like that. But I'm just curious to know. But in Canada, you know, we'll have trains that'll go right across the country and this and that. And I think um, for somebody like myself, I'd like to experience that perhaps sometime. Um, I was mesmerized by a train channel that just came up, probably suggested on YouTube, where it's a 24-hour live stream, and it's a railway conductor. I believe they're in Norway, actually. It's called Rail Cowgirl, um, and anyway, they put a camera outside the train. It's not actually live, but they uh, run 24 hours, like, views of the train, and it's mesmerizing to me to see. They go through all types of weather and everything. King Morgan, good to see you here. Thanks for coming in. Home Bartending with John uh, has a one-of-a-kind channel in the Tuber Chat family. They bring us a lot of product reviews, especially lately. They're putting out tons of videos, which is great to see. I've got the latest one in my catch-up list, uh, which is that playlist I use to keep caught up with creators. Home Bartending with John is working on 500 
100 subscribers and they're getting really really close and then as well this creator is going to teach us how to make some of the world's most popular cocktails from the comfort of our own home we don't have to have a home bar setup quite as elaborate as what john's got here but he will also show us what it takes to keep a bar like this replenished and the tools we're going to need behind the bar to make some of our favorite cocktails as well and then um yeah, that sounds like a cool trip. Our new land going from New York City to Boston. Tiffany says Canadian family life's taken the train quite a few times as well. Yeah, I just haven't. Uh, subways in Toronto. I don't know if I've ever taken any other train. I think I was on the GO train once. Uh, GO train is something in Toronto that, uh, or Ontario, our province, that goes through a few of the major cities. Um, but I just took a short, short trip on the GO train once. Um, Silent Silver says they'd like to do a train trip. Uh, the Gambler After Dark, good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming in. And... <laughs> uh, Jennifer Ocean Homestead, yeah, be, be prepared to move once you come there. Uh, anything's possible. You never know, right? Um, a lot of people are thinking in uh, provinces like Ontario about hightailing it out of here because the uh, cost of housing. Ne never mind everything else. I know the how the price of everything is up everywhere, but the price of housing around Toronto is uh, feeling out of reach for most pe not just people, families. Um, so the idea is if we could head out a few provinces over, especially over to the east coast things just aren't as severe over there it seems but i could be mistaken and there you go yeah rambling with the brooms is coming to toronto on saturday we're going to meet up and they're going to be on the train for six hours i didn't know it was that long oh uh robert mac media good to see you in the house thanks for coming in as long as they got an internet connection i'd be okay and there you go robert mac media says they like riding the train in thailand and vietnam yeah see in in other areas it's so easy to cross countries and regions and things like that not that i know i haven't been many places but uh at least what we say across the pond over there it seems easier to get around in between different areas i'm still learning though from people like robert mac media honcho gaming good to have you in the house as well pardon me home bartending with john i'm literally butchering everybody's promotions today because i keep talking about other things but thank you everybody for for uh entertaining the poll that i've put in the chat there and then uh, home bartending with john has got some shorts on the channel as well one of these keeps growing at 7600 he's got a few doing well over here live streams are something he's done in the past We'll keep an eye on the channel, see if he's going to keep those up. But uh, Home Bartending with John is another extremely generous, loyal, and dedicated supporter. And uh, trains have a bar cart, so there's that. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Home Bartending with John will tell us what's uh, what's a good drink to have on a train. Um, Tommy Temper from Edmonton, another fellow Canadian, is coming up right now. And we'll see what he's got going on. For anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time, hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. Everybody will be willing to connect, so please don't be shy. You can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat, and if you take your time, meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description. You'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like. Fazio to King, Naruto Luffy Goku is in the house. I'm going to get them onto the wheel. They'll take Tommy Temper's place there. Uh, this is a creator, like I said, from Edmonton. Now, he does a lot of content on his own. Some of it is uh, politically charged, uh, which is fine. And he'll give us updates, especially around Edmonton. Sometimes he's talking to, I believe, city councillors and things like that. That's a short video, but I got it in my playlist anyway. Um, he's monetized. Lots of ways to support him, including Super Chats and memberships. When we get there, he's growing rapidly. I met this creator a couple of years ago, and he continues to just skyrocket with the subscriber numbers here. Now, Tommy Temper will get out into the streets to talk to people often. He's got some shorts here, 4,000, 8,000, 12,000. 
But this creator also does a ton of live streaming and what they do that's special on their channel is they reach out to other creators who are chasing politically charged content. This is how we met. And then he restreams with permission. So what happens is he'll have sometimes even I've seen as much as five or six streams going on on his screen he puts them all in different squares like we see on things like Streamyard, but a much more advanced system over here and then um he adds commentary but he's got a vibrant chat and all the participants support all of the channels that he restreams um which is really cool this is how we met i was chasing some politically charged content a couple of years ago and uh tommy temper was gracious enough to Restream and send over quite a few followers. Um, so hopefully everybody will connect with him. He allows you to connect in his channel as well whenever you catch him for a live stream. And again, like I said, monetize. Lots of ways to support him, including Super Chats and memberships when we get there. Let's spin the wheel. We'll get another channel up onto the screen. I saw Girl Dad cooking up deliciousness come in. I've got them on the wheel now, the Bud Files. Also Modern Day Archaeologists. They have really expanded their content over the last year. We'll talk about that in a second. If you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat, please just simply say, I am willing to swap playlists. Other creators should reach out to you. And if you see somebody say that and you're willing, please reach out to them. Everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually, of course. The Bud Files are up on the screen right now. Like I said, modern day archaeologists and necrotourists, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, these creators are in the search of uncovering history and digitally preserving it in video. They go to ghost towns, abandoned places, graveyards, cemeteries, and they take us along for the ride. I'm just going to grab their latest video, a fossil monument video here. I'm going to put that in my catch-up list. These creators um, will bring a lot of variety in their content now especially when we start looking at their shorts they do incredible shout out videos i know a lot of people will compliment the idea that i get to know channels and start to really know the content and the creators but the bud files does a spectacular job they can roll through channel after channel after channel and um they just seem to know what everybody does. They really, the bud files are literally seeming to be everywhere all the time. Moz6510 Models, thank you so much for the congratulations message and that super chat. I really do appreciate that extra generous support. They've done that countless times before. And uh, Moz6510 Models is one of the channels that I featured during the 700 uh, episode on Sunday. Um, they're a part of a brand new podcast series that's coming up here on the channel with an interview where Moz has graciously offered his insight when we think about the idea of what it takes to grow a channel up and beyond, uh, up to and beyond the 10,000 subscribers and he's just about doubled that by now so hopefully everybody will connect with mod 6510 models i'll pull his channel up in, an, in another moment uh scratching wolf good to see you in the house thanks for coming in hopefully i haven't missed anybody in the chat as long as everybody's still active we should get around to everybody now the bud files are up here again um like i said they have really expanded their content on their channel and they seem to be everywhere all the time when we look at shorts on the channel we get a look at some of the variety that they bring getting into 5,000 views one shorts video over 15,000 and i've hung out with them many times for live streams i've missed the last few hopefully i'll catch you for another one soon i've got the notification bell on um, but they go live either outdoors or sometimes indoors they could be singing dancing playing a game bowling and throwing incredibly large objects through the house and i'm always amused by that um, but the bud files like i said do a great job of really paying attention to other channels and they're incredible supporters i think just about anybody here that's met them already will say they're among their most supportive creators so i hope everybody will connect with them they're a wonderful family that lets us into their lives with their content and they're working on 1900 subscribers so we'd love to push them a little bit farther towards that milestone um mod 6510 models is coming up now and thank you one more time mods for that super chat i really do appreciate that extra generous support again 
uh, absolutely unnecessary, but very much appreciated always, and they've done that countless times before. Mod 6510 Models has been a friend of long over three years. Could be as long as three and a half, and it could be even longer than that, actually. This creator now, see, I'm mistaken. He's even farther than I remember from just the other day recording our interview. He's over 21,000 subscribers. So you know I say of channels of this size that there must be much to be learned from them as well as entertained and inspired by because of what they must have already been through in their YouTube journey to get to a level of, let's say, 3,000 and beyond. And Mod 6510 Models is just about seven times that now. So this creator, obviously an authority when it comes to the idea of the YouTube YouTube journey, how we get likes, how we get views, how we get thumbs up, how we gain watch hours. And he has been instrumental in our system here in Tuber Chat for the way that we swap playlists with other creators, the way we talk about them, some of the ways we support each other. Because Mod 6510 Models has always shared his knowledge and experience along the way. And now I'm excited for everybody to know that there's well over, I believe it's an hour and a half of content between us talking about all of the things that they've been through in their youtube journey um rebel canners good to see you in the house thank you for coming in um what makes the series so special that i keep talking about is when interviewing these creators i have really focused on their youtube journey so I talk a little bit differently than what you would expect here. So I don't, you know, every time Moz is answering a question, I'm not coming back with, oh, well, I, I did something different and you should see my channel because it's this and that. No, not at all. The idea was to get their insight from creators who've been with us in the Tuber Chat family and past 10,000 subscribers. So I hope everybody will look forward to that. There's a couple of clips, like I said, one from Two Pineapples and one from Moz6510 Models. They're both personal stories about my friendship with them, and those are featured in episode 700 if you want to go back and watch that replay. I'll release the uh, episodes starting about a month from now, somewhere around there, after the four-year anniversary, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, and I've got another couple of creators already lined up for the next couple of episodes as well so we'll probably put those out monthly mark the shark good to see you in the house thanks for coming in hopefully i haven't missed anybody in the chat thank you native wild man and mod 6510 models brings us help in becoming a better scale modeler so many of us have seen scale models uh even somebody like myself i managed to do a lot of these when i was young i remember spending a lot of time with a cousin and we would get uh, our grandfather would buy us um you know, uh, scale models, and we would sit there on Saturday afternoon and do these things. But this kind of hobby and pastime has really been a lifelong journey for a lot of creators like Mod 6510 Models, and his passion comes out in his content. I'm just going to grab his latest video. I'm going to put this in my catch-up list. He's posting frequently, but I've also caught this creator live working on the bench and having lots of uh, vibrant StreamYard panels full of creators as well. Some of these shorts have done really well, getting into 23,000, 26,000, 46,000, and one of them over 92,000 views, which is great to see. And then live streams on the channel as well. And like I said, sometimes he's got a StreamYard panel, sometimes he's got a full grid, sometimes we see him working on the bench. So hopefully everybody will connect with Mod 6510 Models and look forward to the video podcast series I'm talking about. We'll spin the wheel, we'll see who's coming up next. If I've missed anything in the chat that anybody's meant for me to see, like a question or a comment, just please mention it again with three thumbs up or at mention Tuber Chat Connect and Grow. That should help me see it a little bit easier. I'll keep my eyes open and hopefully catch it the next time around. Hopefully I didn't miss saying hello to Izzy Pop. I saw you come in. I put you on the wheel as soon as I saw you here. They happen to be live right now, actually. They're uh, working on 1,600 subscribers. We'd love to push them a little bit farther towards that milestone. Izzy Pop's with us frequently, and we always can't help but mention their outstanding banner, not to mention their avatar and thumbnails that all match. Izzy Pop tells us on their About section that they're going to bring us pure variety on the channel, but um, when we look through what they've been doing lately, they're posting frequently. i got to rerun this video. I don't know why it didn't run all the way through. Um, they've been bringing us animations and pleasing audio for the most part to come through. Some harsher than others, but that's okay. Izzy Pop's got some shorts here as well with up to 
13,000 views on one of them, which is great. And live streams are frequent. I've caught them many times, as you can see, but they're live every couple of days or so. And the conversation can go just about anywhere once they get started. So hopefully everybody will connect with Izzy Pop, an incredibly generous, loyal, and dedicated supporter. And like I said, we'd love to push them towards the 1,600 subscribers that we know that they're thinking about. They're here with us just about every single day. We'll spin the wheel again, see who's coming up next. If you haven't already given a thumbs up for today's live stream, I hope you will. They really do help. I hope everybody's always giving each other that thumbs up when you're out supporting each other. If you're on a phone, I know you have to turn the chat off to get that done, but you don't lose your place. It only takes a moment. I will appreciate it greatly. Even I have to be reminded to give that thumbs up from time to time, especially when I'm on a phone. And then, yes, um, okay, pardon me, but Doris Corner, yes, I said hello to your channel probably three times today. And uh, here in Tuber Chat, we think about other channels, not our own. So you can read our video description and decide whether Tuber Chat is something that you want for your channel. Uh, Jeremy and Cheryl Cruz Adventures, good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming in. Uh, good to see you both. And then, um, pardon me. Is it uh, P&J's Homestead Adventure? There we go. That's coming up right now. We'll see what they got going on. Hugo Homestead is making me laugh in the chat. Um, Hugo Homestead says, uh, I'm always talking about the ketchup list. That was named actually by our friend Ghostly Winds from Australia. They always have really fun and creative things to say in the chat. And uh, I use it just for catching up with creators, but it was a much more fun way to describe it. Like our Wheel of Doom, for instance, that was named by our friend Mr. Naz three years ago, and we keep the name just for fun. Um, but we're also looking at P&J's Homestead Adventure right now. We'll see what they've got going on on their channel. They're here with us just about every day as well. 564 subscribers. We'd love to push them a little bit farther towards the 600 they're thinking about. I'm just going to grab their latest video from yesterday and put that on my catch-up list. That will give me a chance to keep caught up with them. Uh, and when we look at P&J's Homestead Adventure, of course, we're going to see indoor and outdoor content together, but it's mostly outdoor on this particular channel. They've got an interesting party trick, and this, which was the very first video that I remember watching on the channel, we also see that they bring us all four seasons. I can tell because of the colors of the leaves on the trees in this one thumbnail here, which I haven't seen yet. Um, but that's okay. And then when we look at shorts videos, we're going to see that these creators have now gotten into 2200, 2500 and beyond. And P&J's Homestead Adventures are here with us just about every single day as well, for which I'm grateful. Ace Flaw 1, that's Andy. He brings travel content. I'm going to put him on the wheel right away. Members always get added to the wheel as soon as we see them in the chat. And... Uh, we'll spin. We'll get another channel ready to go. Blessed to Crochet. Good to see you here. Thanks for coming in. Andy just passed another milestone, which is great to see. And we'll spin and we'll see who's coming up right now. So when we talk about the idea of visiting each other's houses and leaving packages, what we're really talking about is visiting the channel watching a video and leaving a comment. Um, the comment is the package that we talk about all the time. Now, one of the things I recommend to channels um, that have been here many times before, and kind of a hint for anybody that's brand new, most of the people who've been through Tuber Chat many times will not go to a brand new channel that they see in the chat right away. Uh, until they watch how everybody interacts with each other in the chat because it can be a little bit of a hint as to whether somebody's going to be a loyal and dedicated supporter before they will connect with you. Um, but when somebody says that they've left a package, this goes for everybody in the chat, of course, what you can do is go into your comment section and see if somebody has left you a comment. Just keep in mind, when people are brand new in Tuber Chat, it might take them an episode or two to get really down with the system. And I know there's a lot of people who guide each other and help each other. It's part of the generous community that we have, for which I'm grateful as well. 
So um, we just want to keep that in mind. The instructions are always in our video description if somebody needs a refresher. And if anybody wants me to clarify anything that we talk about here, you can just uh, at mention me or drop three thumbs up with your message. I'll try to catch it. And our moderators are always watching as well. Um, Pam's Cozy Crochet Nook is here. And this is another creator who's just been with us for a couple of months now, but an enthusiastic creator and somebody who's here with us just about every stream. There are 530 subscribers subscribers right now we'd love to push them towards the 600 we know that they're thinking about uh, they let us know they are self-taught when it comes to crochet they happen to be a lefty but we'll see that crochet is their part of me crochet is their passion when we look at the things that they make like baby blankets scarves shawls and much more they donate a lot of what they make which i think is an incredibly generous thing to do uh, and i've talked about it many times and it turns out that it actually comes from our friends who do fiber arts or fiber crafts when we think about crocheting knitting and other things is a lot of times we think about donating we think about generosity you hear me use that word all the time and sometimes it's materialistic right like and i mean that in a good way you know sometimes there are opportunities to donate um, to worthy causes or people however we want to look at it and it could be uh, any monetary amount right often you'll find the cash registers will be collecting money in the grocery stores or you'll have people outside and things like that but not everybody in the world has an unlimited budget and is able to donate to all the different things that they might one thing that i think can be extremely helpful is taking a talent like something that pro uh, pam's crochet part of, part of me Pam's Cozy Crochet Nook is talking about here the, the ability to go and buy some yarn and then create something with so much more value and meaning out of that yarn and then donate that product to somebody, right? We all know what it costs to go and buy any kind of a blanket or a throw or you know a hat or some mittens or a sweater or anything else that could be knitted or uh, all the different things that people crochet and things like that. So I think it's a wonderful idea when people can do that kind of thing so hopefully everybody will enjoy connecting to pam's cozy crochet nook i've caught her for a couple live streams already as well i believe uh 222 466 views on a couple of these shorts hopefully we'll see some more and they'll continue to grow and she's got lots of live streams over here coming up and these give an opportunity for some trivia some crochet and hanging out with other creators so hopefully everybody will connect with pam's cozy crochet nook and hopefully i'll catch you tomorrow for a live stream i should be done my work day by then jesse miller unboxings and more good to see you in the house thanks for coming in uh mt homestead i think i got you on the wheel yes i did hopefully i haven't missed anybody in the chat jan hines is here kp heathen good to have you in the house as well and we'll think about spinning the wheel and seeing who's coming up next we're going to go for a break for three and a half minutes and then we'll come back we will look at the next channel, which is going to be Girl Dad Cooking Up Deliciousness, we'll do that in three and a half minutes.
All right, we're back and looking at Girl Dad Cooking Up Deliciousness, which is a fairly new channel in the Tuber Chat family. They've been with us a few times now, but I'm still getting to know their content. I'm going to have a look through what they've been doing here lately and see what they've got for new videos. And they got a couple here. So I'm gonna take the second latest one. And the reason why is because it's a few minutes longer, well, quite a bit longer than the latest one. Every minute matters when we're thinking about uh, watch hours. And that's a delicious looking steak you got there. So I'll be looking forward to seeing what you got going on with that. Uh, it looks like they said they're making tacos. So I'll have to see what the title means there. Um, cook, Girl Dad Cooking Up Deliciousness gives us a lot of information on their about section about what brought the channel together and what we can expect. A lot of delicious looking content is what I've seen so far. And then when we get into shorts on the channel, we see that these have gotten into 11,000 views on a few of them, uh, which is great. And they got many in the thousands. And then live streams are something they've done uh, frequently as well up to about a month ago. We'll see if they're going to continue you these it's been a few weeks but we've got notification bells on for every single channel that's in the spirit of doing as much as we can for each other and making sure we catch as much content from each other as we can as well for anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time hopefully you're feeling welcome we have a lot of dynamic creators here everybody will be willing to connect so please don't be shy you can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat and if you take your time meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description you'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like and <laughs> uh, i was just about to say we're going to look at scratch and ppa and stock explorer made me just about fall off my chair there laughing yes for uh, scratch and wolf to get onto the jumbotron here let's uh see where scratching wolf is but thank you for that yes i've got uh scratching wolves on the wheel uh because they happen to be a member of course but we will speed that up so we'll look at scratching wolf in a moment thank you nora we looked at their channel earlier but i really do appreciate that extra generous support with that super chat i wish Streamlabs would show up i keep not looking at that in the background what on earth is the problem with that i don't know uh, and Scratch and PPA is up right now. Let's see what they've got going on for content. Now, Scratch and PPA posts with perfect consistency. As a matter of fact, this creator brings us the Scratch Challenge series of videos. So lottery ticket scratching is a huge, monstrous genre on YouTube. Um, much more, uh, much larger than I would have expected. And um, Scratch and PPA was somebody I actually knew for a while before he started posting content. He was known as PA and then put a lot of contemplation into what he was going to do and came up with Scratch and PPA where that Scratch Challenge series of videos brings us two lottery tickets that are pitted against each other and he gives us the opportunity to vote on the content of next week's video if we follow him on Instagram, Twitter, or X and Facebook, which of course I do it sets a series of uh, apart makes it unique and a lot of fun to be a part of now i know i commented on this video but i'm going to rerun it because it must have uh, i must have gone back i told him i did a double double take on this there's um something interesting to see in this video um so scratch and ppa as well like i said post with perfect consistency so every tuesday at 12 15 eastern and if you can catch us for one of these premieres you're going to find one of the fastest rolling chats that you've seen in the tuber chat family faster than this faster than most others he rivals those of the stock explorer garden state gardener uh, VS Speaks Royally and a few others and it is very fast paced very high energy a lot of fun to be a part of when you catch uh, Scratch and PPA you're also going to notice the presentation is at the forefront of his mind his bright bold avatar is matched by the thumbnails which feature content and a hint about the giveaways that happen in his video series his banner is updated every week if you can imagine and his video editing skills have been complemented ever since his very first video which is just over i believe three and a half years ago um he's 
now crossed over 2,000 subscribers, got that locked in. We'd love to push him towards the 2,100 he's thinking about. He's monetized. We can support him with super chats and super thanks on his channel, as well as shorts that expanded the content when he took a trip to Italy a few months ago and brought us a lot of vlogging style content here in these shorts videos, as well as some Italian lottery tickets we might not have otherwise seen. Live streams are something that he has promised will happen likely again in the future. I shouldn't say promise. I'm not sure if that's the right way to say it. He did threaten that he may go live again as a pop-up at some point, but he did bring us his very first live stream while he was in Italy. And I know a lot of people will be excited to know that Scratch and PPA has expanded the content on the channel. So I hope you'll go back and watch those videos if you haven't already. And, uh, of course, he's a beloved and dedicated moderator. Every moderator on this channel is a dear friend of mine. They're all dear friends of each other. They have been for a long time. They all have different channels, and they all do different things. But one of the things they all have in common is an overwhelming sense of generosity. For that reason, when you visit any of their channels for premieres, or live streams, you'll be welcome to meet more friends and family members for your own channel, the same way we do here in Tuber Chat. So, um, as well, my add a name section just came up. So I'm going to look at my list and add a name to our wheel from our chat list based on who's been most actively engaged in conversation over the course of the stream. Fire and Air, Queen of Disgusting Clan, is in the house. I hope that's the real Fire and Air then. Um, but it's good to see you here. Thank you for coming in. That's a creator that's been with us from the beginning. Actually, I think she, I think Fire and Air was the very first creator to come into episode number one of Tuber Chat. Now, I could be mistaken. She could have been here for the first, uh, the other um, episode zero that we did before we, um, before episode one came up. Oh, and now I got a monster problem. Part of me in the background here on um, Streamlabs. It's not counting what I wanted it to count. We'll have a backup system for that, but uh, my dear goodness. It was working on Sunday. I'll have to do that uh, manually then. And we should close out our poll too. An intro to Mills. Good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming in. Um... Hopefully I'm not missing anybody in the chat. As long as everybody's still active, we should get around to everyone. Uh, Bella's Whisper Farmstead will get up onto the wheel right now from that add a name section. Uh, and first we're going to um, uh, look at Scratch and Wolf. Forgive me, the Stock Explorer almost made a mistake there. Um, let's spin the wheel. We'll get another channel ready to go. We'll look at Scratch and Wolf right now. The Stock Explorer, Nora, just dropped a super chat so that we would look at this channel which is uh, another cr incredibly supportive creator and then we'll go and uh, clear the wheel off and uh, sort that out in another moment I'll leave this here for a second uh, Scratching Wolf is gonna bring us more lottery ticket scratching on their channel 276 subscribers we'd love to push them towards the 300 that they're thinking about I'm just gonna grab the latest video from an hour ago they just put this up I'm gonna put that in my catch-up list that'll give me a chance to get caught up with them and see their latest production uh, Butler Family Farm good to see you in the house I'm gonna get you on the wheel in a quick second here falling behind here and uh, let's look at shorts videos on scratch and wolf's channel we'll see that these have gotten into 2400 3400 views and beyond live streams as well um, is something that they've done a few times up to a couple of weeks ago we'll see if they're going to continue with those but we've always got notifications on for every single channel that's in the spirit of doing as much as we possibly can for each other and then, uh, thank you, Izzy Pop. Yeah, we had your channel up earlier, actually. I know you were live, um, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming in still, of course. And, um, yes, we looked at that. 
Um, so thank you again, Nora, the Stock Explorer, for that super chat. We looked at uh, Scratching Wolf for that reason. That's an incredibly generous thing to have done. I certainly appreciate it. I know Scratching Wolf will be happy to have had that happen as well. And I'm glad to see Creator supporting each other in that way. So um, Butler Family Farm is going to get added to the wheel in a second here. Let me do that right away. And the section that just came up on the wheel said clear the wheel. What that means is that I'm going to wipe all the names off the wheel right now. We're going to reload with any members that haven't already been seen. That's going to speed things up so that I can add some more names to our wheel from our chat list based on who's been most actively engaged over the course of the stream, and I'm talking about conversation. So Ace Flaw 1 is coming up. So I know we just took a break, but we're going to take another one for three and a half minutes. And then we're going to come up, uh, come back with Andy's Travel Channel. If you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat, please just simply say, I am willing to swap playlists. Other creators should reach out to you. And if you see somebody say that and you're willing, Please reach out to them. Everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually, of course. All right, we're back. Right, uh, and we're we're looking at Ace Flaw One. Please send us your friend for four years now. Welcome. We have a lot of other creators. Pardon me. 
I do that a million times. Uh, Ace Flaw One is a friend named Andy, and he has been with us from the be from long before the beginning. He's been a friend of mine for well over four years, actually. And um, hopefully everybody will connect with him. He brings travel videos. We'll talk about his content in a quick second. Um, I know that we had a question in the chat. So Plush Rush Inc., good to see you in the house for the first time. Hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. Everybody will be willing to connect. So please don't be shy. You can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat. And if you take your time, meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description. You'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like. Hey, Renee's Garden, good to see you in the house. When we talk about the idea of swapping playlists, the idea is that um, when somebody runs a playlist of your videos, your watch hours are going to grow pretty quickly, right? You can imagine that, especially if you get lots of other creators, potentially hundreds doing that. And of course, it's a collaboration, if we want to call it that, an arrangement you can make with other creators where you're also going to run a playlist of videos for them. Now, the reason why I push it so hard here in Tuber Chat is for two major reasons. One of them is because when somebody runs an entire playlist of your videos, they're running every video from beginning to end, which can bump up the averages on your channel's retention, if that makes sense, average time viewed per video. But the biggest reason is because of the friendship that is made when you trade favors with another creator. Therefore, you can imagine that once you've done something for someone else that they're thankful for and remember they'll likely be there for most of what you're going to do or they'll both most part of me they will be there for most of what you're going to come up with moving forward so having that friendship means that your watch hours are going to grow exponentially as you become friends with more and more creators but it's a simple arrangement since you're only obligated to run the videos you can do it while you work while you eat while you sleep when you uh, are out when you eat or you know any other idea or if you have another device like i'm usually running four playlists at a time behind Behind me or live streams and things like that as well um, so it's really easy to do and anybody's free to make those arrangements here in the chat by simply saying I am willing to swap playlists you'll get a conversation started I don't first facilitate I don't uh, interfere but I am willing to swap playlists with creators if you'd like to swap with me as well you can reach out to me I'm on Instagram all the time Facebook most of the time Twitter some of the time as well I cleared off the wheel our clear the wheel section came up um, so I wiped the wheel off of all of the names that were there reloaded with any members we hadn't seen yet I missed your uh, stream I think right completely on um, Monday there Butler Family Farm I changed my work schedule I usually don't work on Mondays but I offered to work outdoors just because I had to get my truck fixed on sat on uh, Tuesday which I did get done thank God the things in pristine condition now um, but, um, yeah, sorry, I missed that. Uh, and then we've got one other thing I got to talk about here. Um, I'll look at it in a second. Uh, another channel, a dear friend of ours. Um, Aceflaw1 is uh, somebody who just, pit, uh, just uh, missed, uh, just, pardon me, just passed our, uh, his 4,800 subscribers. Um, Ace Flaw One is a dear friend, Andy. He's one of the first creators that I met in the small YouTuber community. And um, he's been with me for about four and a half years. He was with me from the very beginning. It's interesting now, after literally 700 episodes of Tuber Chat, that he um, is coming by as often as he can, usually every stream. And yes, Butler Family Farm, I will catch the replay for sure, because I know that's what the one where you said the two of you were going to be separated as well, right? Um, and then uh, I actually wrote a note for myself here as soon as you came in. Um, Ace Flaw One brings travel videos. So he posts occasionally, but he's been at this a long time, obviously. He recently took a trip to Italy also, like we talked about with Scratch and Pete. He's got some shorts on the channel, and one of these has now passed 1,600 views, which is great to see. More variety like we see from most creators in their shorts video. So hopefully everybody will connect with Ace Flaw One. And uh, next up, I just want to show you a channel very quickly. Be Amazing Sylvia hasn't been in the chat today, but it's her birthday right now. She's going to go live any moment, actually. And um, I'm just going to go over there, actually, and do something for her. 
she's been a dear friend for a long, long time. Um, oh, did she, uh, did something happen to her live stream there, or what happened? Oh, she's got a trailer on it, never mind. Pardon me while I think out loud and trip all over my words. I'm just going to do something for her for her birthday. I try not to miss these, but I'm streaming right now, and she might not be on after we're finished. I don't know. But we'll leave her a little birthday blessing there. And I'm sure she'll be happy to have that. And then we'll get back to uh, what we're doing. But Be Amazing Sylvia is a longtime dear friend. Uh, Just Jason Keto and more is live also. I did. I wondered. He was in the chat earlier, and then he's uh, he's off streaming right now. Um, he's usually on on Thursdays, but so this is a different one. Uh, and he's cooking right now with a multicam system, so that's cool. Uh, I don't know if he'll be on after we're done either. But let's get to our next channel. Let's spin the wheel. We'll get another channel up onto the screen. Uh, Big Boy Snacks Johnny TV just changed his name. Actually, it was Big Boy Facts. Johnny TV for a while, F-A-C-T-S. Um, Silver Assassin Metal Detecting hopefully is still with us. I'm going to look at their channel right now. But I did clear the wheel, like I said, so it uh, allows me the opportunity to get more channels on the wheel faster. So we'll get that happening. Uh, Jevin Richardson's got a birthday coming up next month. And uh, you'll have to pardon me, Streamlabs was off. I'm going to show you something for a quick second here. Um, but right before we look at Silver Assassin Metal Detecting. So this is Streamlabs in the background. As you can see, there's tons and tons and tons of features here. But one of the things that they have is a cloud bot or a chat bot. And they've got a loyalty system here. And this is what I use to keep track of how active everybody's been in the chat. It's some kind of a combination between time and engagement in the chat. But the cloud bot here, for some reason on Streamlabs, shuts itself off all the time. It's like you got to check it before every live stream. And I didn't see that it was not on. So unfortunately, it didn't catch up with the first half of the stream. Uh, but we still got a long way to go. Um, so we won't worry about that too much and it'll catch up soon but that's a little bit of a hint for everybody as well the more active you are in the chat uh, even starting now with true engagement and conversation with other creators uh, the faster you'll get onto the um, part of me screen if that makes sense wheel first screen after so let's get rid of that for a second um, let what on earth am I doing here pardon me <laughs> I'm I'm tripping all over the place here. Silver Assassin Metal Detecting is coming up. And we'll see what they've got going on on their channel. I had, must have had that in the background in their uh, trailer ran or something. Uh, Silver Assassin Metal Detecting is a channel I'm still getting to know as well. And they are working on 600 subscribers. We'd love to push them a little bit closer to that milestone. For anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time, hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. Everybody will be willing to connect, so please don't be shy. You can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat, and if you take your time, meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description. You'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like. So, uh, Plush Rush Inc., thank you for asking. I wonder if that's a creator that we already know or somebody that already knows us. I know you said you're here for the first time, but I'm just curious to know. Uh, and then, so the idea behind what we're doing here is creators are meeting each other in the chat. That's why the channel's called Tuber Chat, not Tuber Guy or Tuber Man. I just put channels on the screen and talk about them while we're here. But the magic is what happens in the chat while creators are meeting each other and you're free to meet other creators um, as much as you'd like. I find that you can likely meet up to eight or 10 different creators per hour based on the time that you spend here any faster than that is too fast youtube will likely take your subscriptions away but what we're here for is to meet other like-minded creators in the beginnings of our youtube journey and the idea is to support each other over the long term literally meaning months and years 
into the future. You'll hear that in the stories that I tell about friendships that have been built between creators that are here in the chat. When you think about the idea of supporting, we have generosity at the forefront of our minds. So we're always thinking about doing for others much more than we expect to have done for us. And then knowing that over the long term, again, from the stories you'll hear me tell, that as you're supporting other creators, you will find an overwhelming amount of generosity in the YouTube community with people willing to support you if we could all just find each other. So that's just the idea. And then, um, yes, thank you very much, Plush Rush Inc. But it's good to have you here. So we're looking forward to getting to know your channel. Again, it starts with a conversation. You can just say hello to any individual creator in the chat. You'll hopefully find yourself a warm welcome from the creators that have been here many times before. But also keep in mind that people who've been to Tuber Chat many times before, or literally for years, may not connect with a channel that's brand new in the chat that they don't recognize right away because they're making a judgment call about conversations in the chat to see whether somebody might be a loyal and dedicated supporter before connecting with them, if that makes sense. So again, the idea is we always reach out with generosity, making the first move, knowing that creators will turn around and do the same thing for us afterwards. Dinky Crafts, Jennifer, good to see you in the house. Huga Homestead, I've got you on the wheel now. Uh, Silver Assassin, Metal Detecting, like I said, is somebody I'm still getting to know. I think I caught them for a live stream the other day. Am I mistaken? Was it a premiere? maybe or am i mistaken about that too um that's okay this is a creator i'm still getting to know and they're like i said working on 600 subscribers they let us know they do uh metal detecting and they're a history enthusiast from massachusetts and um I'll look forward to getting to know the channel better. We've got a few channels that get into metal detecting here in the Tuber Chat family. And then 1,300, 1,500 views on a couple of their shorts videos, which is great. And a live stream that they did do three months ago. We'll see if they're going to keep those up. We've always got notification bells on for every single channel that's in the spirit of doing as much as we can for each other and making sure we catch as much content from each other as we can as well. So uh, Streamlabs is now late to the party but here um so they'll keep track of what's going on in the chat for us sweet melissa is coming up next and um if anybody was wondering because some people have been here with tuber chat many times before um well, pardon me we're looking for sweet melissa's channel um part of me i'm losing my train of thought here because the uh Oh, we're spinning the wheel, and I'm losing my place and everything else. Pardon me while I do that. If you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat, please just simply say, I am willing to swap playlists. Other creators should reach out to you, and if you see somebody say that and you're willing, please reach out to them. Everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually, of course. And then, yeah, Plush Rush Inc., you can see that there's a handful of names on the wheel, so I don't really know what you mean by that. I wonder which uh, channel recommended you here. I'd be curious to know. Um, but for the sake of saying, our instructions are always in our video description. It talks about how the wheel works. And basically, over the course of the stream, as people are conversating in the chat, I have a robot in the background that keeps track of that engagement when we get down to about five or six names on the wheel i'll start adding names from our chat list which i've added a couple of already and then when the wheel spins it's obviously random when the wheel picks a name i'll put it up on the screen we'll talk about the channel for a little while and we're usually here for about three hours. Lots of time to put lots of channels on the wheel and introduce them to everybody. Marketplace Boutique, good to see you in the house. Thank you for coming in. Um, uh, Jonathan Sturgill is also Product Scope. They dropped us an extra um, like. So thank you for that. And... Oh, Globies Travel, uh, pardon me, let me look at my list. Yeah, forgive me, I haven't gotten back to you uh, just yet, but I've got a list of our winners. Yes, Globies Travels won our giveaway uh, in episode 700. So I've done giveaways the last three 100 uh, milestone streams, but I'll just give you an idea here. 
so the giveaway was for a choice of either the YouTube Secrets book from Sean Cannell and Benji from Think Media or the YouTube formula from Daryl Eves, who is known as the grandfather of YouTube. They're both incredibly informative, of course. I have yet actually to get through the YouTube formula, but I have the audio book also for the YouTube secret. So you'll be able to have your choice of one of those. And uh, my intention is to reach out to everybody on Instagram. I've heard from a couple of creators already, but I'll try to, um, if you want to reach out to me, that's great. And I'll appreciate it. If not, I'll try to get that done tomorrow. But Globies Travels has been an incredibly supportive creator ever since uh, finding this channel. And then Cat Entertainment, thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, Plush Rush Inc. And then uh, Sweet Melissa is up on the screen as well. 110 subscribers. And I'm hoping we can push them a little bit closer to the 200 they're thinking about. Uh, Globies Travels is thinking about the secrets book. Okay, thank you. I just made a note about that. And uh, I'll get in touch with you. And uh, don't, yeah, don't put your address here or anything, but you can uh, let me know where to send that. But I'll reach out to you on one of the other social networks or by email, unless you get to me first. Uh, follow the Bradley's Fun. Good to see you in the house. Thank you for coming in. And then when we look at uh, Sweet Melissa's channel, I see the latest video. Uh, again, my red line. I must have had a glitch in my ketchup list. I'll leave it in there. I'll rerun that. Um, this creator lets us know that they belong to some product review and product testing sites, so they share unboxings and reviews on their channel in videos. Um, so we can see there's a bit of variety here in some of these products, including some of these snacks, actually. And then shorts on the channel. These have gotten into 1,200, even 2,100 views. And beyond, and like most creators, we see pure variety in their uh, shorts video. So 110 subscribers. We'd love to push them towards the 200 that they're thinking about. We'll spin the wheel. We'll get another channel up onto the screen. If I've missed anything in the chat that anybody's meant for me to see, like a question or a comment, just please mention it again with three thumbs up or at mention Tuber Chat Connect and Grow. That should help me see it a little bit easier. I'll keep my eyes open and hopefully catch it the next time around. And then the next channel that we're looking at is Jonathan Sturgill. And this is a creator that is uh, incredibly knowledgeable about all things music. So they will bring us instrument and gear reviews, product comparisons, uh, as well as give us some insight as to what we can expect in music over the next five or ten years when we think about some of the new hardware that's come out and some of the AI systems that are influencing music as well. So, uh, Jonathan Sturgill now is well over 5,000 subscribers, but they actually had that much. They had 5,000 before they came to us. They continue to grow now, but they've actually uh, opened a second channel, and here they're monetized. Lots of ways to support them, including Super Chats and memberships when we get there. Lots of guitar lessons here as well, and um, the shorts are getting close to 1,000 views. Product Scope is the second channel from this creator and this uh let me see just see how to get to it it's a fairly new channel so i'll drop the handle in the chat if anybody wants to type that in or copy and paste it if you can't find product scope easily we always just match the avatar we want to make sure we get to the right channel 50 subscribers right now halfway to the first 100 they got a couple of shorts here as well but some of the videos are really impressive because they're going to show you what's possible like i said with the idea of the ai systems that are now getting popular as well as what we can expect from hardware um, you know, music changes, of course, over decades, and we get a look into the future through Product Scope, which is run by Jonathan Sturgill, who's an incredibly supportive creator, who's actually supporting on all of my channels. And the reason why I say that is so that everybody here knows what kind of support you can expect back from a creator like that. Um, another winner from our 700th episode is an incredibly supportive family of creators or a couple of creators jerry and susan from butler family farm and they 
uh, just did a live stream on Monday. They always stream on Monday, which I missed. I'm just going to grab that replay. I'm going to put it in the catch-up list right now and see what they had to say there. Uh, they're monetized. Lots of ways to support them, including Super Chats and memberships when we get there. Their channel's growing rapidly, passing milestones all the time. When we look at their About section, we see that they have 116 acres of farmland that they bring to us in Missouri. Uh, they, brought, they came from San Diego, and they've got quite a few things on the farm as far as livestock and cats and dogs, they've got chickens, llamas, uh, horses, donkeys, goats and cattle, and then bees will be here at the end of the month. And then uh, Butler Family Farm brings us both indoors and outdoors, like a typical homesteading channel. Uh, and I've got another video from them. I must have to rerun my entire catch-up list because I got these red lines acting all silly on me. Um, sometimes Susan and Jerry will be indoors, giving us a chance to get to know them. Often they're outdoors, showing us all the different things they have to do on the farm. They do a lot of meetups like this one uh, that we see right here. They've got a lot for me to show you on their live stream page. Sometimes Jerry's working in the shop, making all kinds of different things. Uh, beautiful things as a matter of fact and then when we get into shorts on the channel these have started to really move they've gotten into 10,000 12,000 even 25,000 uh, lots of variety but mostly outdoor content here and then live streams feature sometimes road trips that we've seen recently as well as meetups with other creators when they're not doing that they got stream yard panels going on I joined them a few weeks ago for a live stream hopefully everybody will check that out we talked for a couple of hours I believe and then um, they had out to real life meetups if we want to call it that or offline meetups they live stream that and then they also have stream yard panels where they got like a full grid of panelists and guests as well so hopefully everybody will enjoy that and like i said monetize lots of ways to support them including super chats and memberships when we get there butler family farm is everybody's bff they try to be here just about every single day i know not everybody can i certainly appreciate every moment everybody does spend here um but i'd also love to give you an idea of the support you can expect back from them if you haven't already given a thumbs up for today's live stream, I hope you will. They really do help. I hope everybody's always giving each other that thumbs up when you're out supporting each other. If you're on a phone, I know you have to turn the chat off to get that done, but you don't lose your place. It only takes a moment. I will appreciate it greatly. Even I have to be reminded to give that thumbs up from time to time, especially when I'm on a phone. Uh, Twinbrook Acres, I'm not sure if I said hello before, but thank you for being here. Um, and Jeremy D-Day, my friend of over four years, as well as in the house. Uh, Tiffany Lavashark Johnson was our featured channel for today. So thank you for still being here. And hopefully I haven't missed anybody in the chat. Wheats Art, good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming in. Yes, thank you, everybody. It was um, uh, an exciting live stream. Episode 700 featured a couple of clips of never-before-seen footage from a couple of interviews that I have recorded now with a couple of influential creators who are long past their 10,000 subscribers so that they can talk to us about their YouTube journey and give us some insight as to the things that might help us grow. Bella's Whisper Farmstead, Kristen is somebody who's here with us just about every day as well. 632 subscribers, I'm hoping we can push them a little bit farther towards the 700 that they're thinking about. Um, they are posting occasionally right now, seems to be almost once a week. We'll see if they're going to keep those up, hopefully. Once we get to a point that we're putting out a quality piece of content every week, that's enough to make a channel grow organically. Uh, and if you're not already there, that's okay. You just want to get there as quickly as you can. Uh, I have found that whenever I take a week off on any channel that I touch or run, um, that it takes about a month to get the momentum back, although it comes back. Um, so once a week is enough to make the channel start growing and the things we're doing here just speed that process up. When we get to Bella's Whisper Farmstead, we see shorts that have gotten into 2,600, even 3,000 views and beyond now. And then live streams are an idea for the future. We'll keep an eye on the channel, see if they're going to get those happening again um so hopefully everybody's doing okay meeting each other in the chat uh plush rush inc i'll be looking for your question we're gonna go for a break again for three and a half minutes we'll come right back we'll see which channel 
we're going to look uh, at next. And then, so the way things work here, Plush Rush Inc., it uh, starts best with a conversation. If you say hello to somebody in the chat and let them know that you want to connect with them, once you know that you've got their attention, then you can head to their channel and uh, watch a video, leave a comment. Our instructions in our, are in our video description. People are coming in and out of here all the time. So that's what we're supposed to be doing. So um, everybody's welcome, of course, to leave, watch a video, come back afterwards. And uh, the reason why I say you got to make sure somebody's paying attention is because people are coming in and out. You never know if somebody might leave a message in the chat that they're off to another channel and then coming back afterwards. But once you're sure, you can let somebody know you've connected to them and then they will turn around and do the same thing for you. What makes it really easy is when you leave a meaningful, genuine comment on their video. I recommend three or four sentences then it's really easy to find and from their comment section they can click right on your name and get right to your channel to have no trouble finding you but i see you're doing well already if i'm not mistaken you have 1800 subscribers already so i know you've been at this for a while marketplace boutique is coming up in three and a half minutes Pardon me again. I did that today. Uh, forgive me. <laughs> I seem to be impatient today. Um, Marketplace Boutique 
is uh, up right now and this is an incredibly supportive creator I'm uh, also noticing the backyard trucker is back in the chat we're gonna look at those two channels together and the reason why they did recently did a couple of live streams together uh, and I'm always happy to see creators supporting each other and uh, thank you scratch and PPA for uh, helping creators in the chat Sam slogs trains of more is on the wheel he's a member and a moderator of course I wonder if Sam can describe for us the idea that um, I was talking about earlier with taking a trip on the train. When you take, like if I was to take a cross-country trip, so I'm not talking about just the subway going downtown or taking a GO train over to the next city. I call it GO train because that's our train company here to go um, from one city to the next. But I'm talking about like uh, in Canada we have... I'm not sure if CN Rail does it. Via Rail. Via Rail it's called. Sam will know it. But uh, w I wonder if there's a particular term that you call that kind of trip that's a better way of describing it than what I've been tripping all over today. Um, it's just an idea. But I wonder. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I left the... Uh, I, I'm using the Stream Deck. Uh, but what I've got to do is I've got to put a... Um, I've got to use a uh, macro on the computer so that when I hit another key, I'm probably going to get a bigger stream deck. I actually love the idea of this thing now that I've used it. I'll probably get the big one. Um, but you can set a button so that when we go on that break, like when I put that screen up just like this here, then it'll automatically turn all that stuff off. And I haven't done that yet. So, um, again, I'm still learning. I've had the Stream Deck for, what, two years now and finally started using it. There you go, riding the rail, says Butler Family Farm. Judgment Day, Mike Harper, good to see you here. Thanks for coming in. And then um, when we look at Marketplace Boutique, we see a creator now, well over 800 subscribers. Now, Marketplace Boutique has been in e-commerce since 1998. Uh, we learned that from their About section where they also let us know they were working in law. They wanted a career change, something to let them spend a bit more time at home. And e-commerce allows that. They help us with the ins and outs of platforms like eBay where we find items that we can hopefully buy low and then sell high. Um, Marketplace Boutique will talk about all the ins and outs when it comes to researching what kind of products we can sell, hopefully at a profit while still giving somebody a great deal. Um, but also, um, she gets into the technical aspects like shipping and listing and things like that. Uh, this is a different kind of video, but this creator will occasionally take us outdoors, sometimes shopping for items, sometimes just for an adventure. Um, so I'll look forward to seeing that video. I got it in that playlist I used to keep caught up with creator shorts on the channel. have gotten into 8,000, 12,000, 19,000. She's had great success with a few recent ones and then live streams on the channel. She's done a couple now with Backyard Trucks and I believe they're just talking in the chat now about maybe doing one on Backyard Truckers channel soon. Um, so Marketplace Boutique, an incredibly generous, loyal, and dedicated supporter. I hope everybody will connect with them. And then um, let's look at Backyard Trucker as well. And you'll see uh, another creator. This is somebody who says they're a simple guy just putting anything and anything online for us to view. I'm just going to grab their latest morning sunrise video. I'm going to put that in my catch-up list. That'll be the next piece of content that I watch. We can see they're both indoors, mostly outdoors. Shorts show us that this creator's catching a lot of dash cam footage at 10,000 and 12,000 views, which is great to see. And they're working on 300 subscribers. I'm hoping we can push them a little bit farther towards that milestone. Uh, Judgment Day Mike Harper, thank you so much for another super chat. I really do appreciate that extra generous support. They've done that countless times before for that reason. We'll put their channel up on the screen right away and then we'll get back to spinning the wheel in a moment. I also missed the opportunity to mention the idea that the Stock Explorer took over our stream boss position earlier. That's the video game life meter under my camera there. Every super chat and membership knocks a little bit of life off of the stream boss. The last person to knock them out and take over, get some extra exposure. And that's what we see right now from the Stock Explorer. Um, so Judgment Day, my Carper's up right now. I'm just going to read Sam's comment. He says... 
Uh, they just call them express, uh, pardon me, express passenger trains or inner city trains in the UK uh, or a long distance train journey. So thank you for that. Sam's Large Trains and More. I'm going to try to remember express, express, I talk too fast, express passenger train. Uh, and I was talking about the idea of taking a trip. Uh, I think Jennifer Ocean Homestead was saying that it would be, uh, if you went to visit New Brunswick, you wouldn't want to go home. And I said, oh, the idea of a cross Canada trip uh, becomes more appealing over the years. Um, so maybe one of these days I'll do that. And then uh, Judgment Day Mike Harper is up on the screen right now. There's a creator who gives us a lot of information about them on their about section here. They bring pure variety on their channel. I'm just going to have a look at their latest wrestling week video. I'm going to put that in my catch up list. That'll give me a chance to watch or run that after the stream as well. They've got shorts on their channel. These have gotten into over a thousand views now. Two of them at 1100 and 1400 views live streams are frequent they usually bring these out at least once a week and then judgment day mike harper has a second channel as well michael w harper is where we get to know this channel or this creator a little bit more uh, that bright bold avatar should be easy to find if you search for michael w harper but i'll put the handle in the chat just in case anybody has trouble finding them you can copy and paste that or type that out uh, this is where they bring a lot of dvd reviews another chance to get to know michael harper and i'll just take the latest video put it in my catch-up list when we look at shorts over here we see that this creator's gotten into hundreds of views on these and hopefully we'll see some more of those as well this is another generous loyal and dedicated supporter who's here with us just about Pardon me, every single day. So, um, let's spin the wheel. For anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time, hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. Everybody will be willing to connect, so please don't be shy. You can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat, and if you take your time, meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description. You'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like. Huga Homestead is a long, long, long time friend. I think they are one of the first creators to come into the Tuber Chat family from the homesteading community of channels. I'm just going to grab this video. This looks like a perfect video to watch. I'm surprised I never actually saw watched this one yet. But it talks about the word Huga. So I've known them a long time. So it's pronounced H-O-O-G-A, Huga. But um, what this word means specifically is... Um, a peaceful, comfortable home. I think they said, oh, here it is. Huga means cozy, peaceful home in Danish. Uh, and they let us know that so we can learn something before we even get into the channel. But I'm going to take this video. It's in their featured position here. I'm going to put that in my catch-up list and I'll uh, get a chance to watch that specific video and see what they talk about the concept of Huga itself. But I've known this creator a long, long time. I can tell you this is somebody who goes over and above when it comes to the idea of friendship on YouTube. They care very much about their YouTube community and those of us in the Tuber Chat uh, family as well. Huga. I got to pronounce that a little bit better. Huga. Um, but I'll <laughs> I'll learn when I when I watch the video to get it a little bit better. And then. Um, Hugo Homestead as well is working on 800 subscribers. We'd love to push them a little bit closer. They've gotten into 1,500 and 1,600 views in their shorts videos, which bring a mix of indoor and outdoor content like we'd expect from a homesteading channel and then a couple of live streams as well. I must have not realized you were on with Vase Place the other day. I forget for the life of me whether I caught that. Or, well, it's months ago now. Um, Vase Place does a lot of live streaming. Um, I thought I caught you for a live stream. It must have been a uh, premiere. Or maybe I was just thinking of a video that I was watching. You're sitting on the couch and you were talking. Um, yeah, I'll never find it now. I've watched a lot of videos from this channel. So hopefully everybody will connect with them in the Midwest. Uh, gardening, rabbits, chickens, canning, prepping, simple life cooking, and friendly talk on Huga Homestead. And like I said, they've been a long, long, long time friend. <laughs> like all the warm fuzzies? Yes, absolutely. 
And um, William, burning the tires, good to see you in the house. Thank you for coming in. I think you um, might have left a comment. I'm not sure if I responded to that or not, but pardon me for that. I got to know, I remember uh, flickering notification coming over the phone uh, earlier today. You know how sometimes you get those notifications? Just for fun, I'm going to clear my notifications right now. And we'll see how long it takes for that to rack back up to nine notifications. Because uh, I put them on for every channel, of course, right? Uh, two rabbits are expecting babies next week, says Hugo Homestead. I know a lot of people will be excited to see that. Um, Globies Travels is up on the screen right now. We'll see what they've got going on. If you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat, please just simply say, I am willing to swap playlists. Other creators should reach out to you. And if you see somebody say that and you're willing, please reach out to them. Everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually, of course. And when we look at Globies Travels, we see another winner from our giveaway the other day. Uh, Globies Travels has actually been with us just about every single stream, I think, since finding us just a couple of months ago. It could be a few months by now. Um, they're working on 300 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you, Hugo Homestead. Yes, uh, Stock Explorer called it the Jumbotron today. Um, Globies Travels. Um is going to bring us to interesting areas, sometimes far away, but often around their home area of Atlanta. And when we, or pardon me, I say Atlanta, but I mean Georgia. I have family in Atlanta, that's why. Um, when we look at um, the shorts videos on this channel, we see more bite-sized travel videos with a lot of variety mixed in, getting into 3,700, 6,900 views and beyond. And then when we dig through the content, we'll give an, get an idea of the different places they're taking us to. Am I mistaken? Was I thinking Georgia and it's Tennessee? Oh, forgive me for making that mistake. I don't know what I was thinking of. Oh, we got friends in, um, Na uh, pardon me, Nashville, Tennessee as well. I'm not drinking enough. My voice is all over the place today. Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee here. More Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, forgive me for that. I don't know why I said uh, Georgia. I don't know why I was thinking Atlanta. Unless they got a video I was thinking of. Um, so that's Globies Travel. Forgive me. Over time, I get to know better the channels. Hopefully you can hear that from the uh, descriptions that I give. And then, uh, yeah, it's interesting about my family farm. I got to do something about those pre-recorded segments as well. I'm going to do something where they're like clearly different. Because um, you see the computers disappear off the desk too. If I've missed anything in the chat that anybody's meant for me to see, like a question or a comment, just please mention it again with three thumbs up or at mention Tuber Track Connect and Grow. That should help me see it a little bit easier. I'll keep my eyes open and hopefully catch it the next time around. And uh, Butler Family Farms making me laugh now thinking about that. Um, where is Jevin Richardson? Oh, you see what happens here? I noticed, uh, I forget if it was Backyard Trucker or another creator saying they were having trouble catching Jevin Richardson. So this creator, YouTube wants to misspell for us because uh, it's right away thinking we're looking for another uh, Kevin Richardson. So as long as we click or tap uh, if you're on a phone um, and let YouTube know that this is the one you're looking for. Just watch for that if you don't find this channel right away. And then Jevin Richardson is here with us frequently. They got 747 subscribers, which is an interesting number. 747, considering the videos that they're bringing to us. A lot of plane watching here. I'm just going to grab uh, the second latest video that they've got here. I got another one still on my catch-up list. I haven't cleared it out, but there must have been a glitch because uh, I've got a million videos now that have got these red lines. So I'm going to have to rerun them. Uh, William Burning, the tires, I'm always good. Thank you for asking. Mitchie Boo, good to see you in the house. Thanks for coming coming in and then um, when we look at what Jevin Richardson has got going on in their shorts videos we see a couple of these have started to move into 8,000 16,000 and 42,000 views interesting that the gaming ones with the game controllers have uh, hit some big numbers over there which is great so hopefully everybody will connect to Jevin Richardson and they're here with us just about every day as well let's spin the wheel we'll see who's coming up next I'm going to put some names on the wheel in another couple of moments here 
If you haven't already given a thumbs up for today's live stream, I hope you will. They really do help. I hope everybody's always giving each other that thumbs up when you're out supporting each other. If you're on a phone, I know you have to turn the chat off to get that done, but you don't lose your place. It only takes a moment. I will appreciate it greatly. Even I have to be reminded to give that thumbs up from time to time, especially when I'm on a phone. When we look at uh, Just Jason, Keto, and more, he was live earlier. He'll probably still be live right now. I don't know if he'll be live when we're finished. Uh, we can stay up to almost another half hour if everybody would like. Uh, we'll get to as many channels as we can. And um, Just Jason, Keto, and more is working on 2,500 subscribers. I'm hoping we can push them a little bit farther towards that milestone. He's doing a different kind of live stream today. I'm just going to roll over it. Maybe we'll get an idea of what he's doing. Is that possible? It wanted to do it earlier. It's not doing it now. I was hoping we'd see that. We'll see what he's doing here. Oh, he's thought. Yeah, he's over. He's done already. He's usually on for an hour. He's on every Thursday. Um, maybe I'm mistaken. It. I thought it was live, but maybe I was just thinking that. When we look at his videos, we see another chavo recipe. Now, this creator is going to help us with healthy eating, healthy living, particularly when it comes to the idea of a keto-based diet or lifestyle. So he's got tons of recipes. He just happens to have done a lot of chaffles, especially over the last many months. He did a series at Christmas of about 12 of them, right? The 12 days of chaffles. Now, this creator also does other recipes, lots of product reviews. He can help us understand the ingredients in the different foods we're either going to make or buy um, and how they're going to affect us when we think about ketosis and what we're going to think about with a keto-based diet or lifestyle. He also brings a lot of guests onto the channel. They share their life experiences, their tri tips, their tricks, their trials, tribulations, and advice and suggestions when it comes to healthy eating, healthy living. A lot of product reviews like I was mentioning. He'll head out to places like Keto Palooza to bring us more information informative content and then as well shorts on the channel have done really well there's a hint here about healthy looking grilling shorts where he's gotten into 4,000 5,000 and well beyond 6,000 views here one which I've seen over 22,000 um, Martin pardon me Martin Miller 1998 good to see you here day one adventures good to have you in the house thanks for coming in and When we look at, part of me, Just Jason Keto and more, we see live streams as well. So he's on every Thursday uh, at 7.30 Eastern. I'm assuming he's still going to go to more even though he did one today. Uh, but this creator recently did a 2,000 subscriber celebration and giveaway, but he's already long past. I think he already had his 2,400 subscribers. There he is, Just Jason Keto and more is back in the house. That was coincidence that the wheel happened to come up right after you finished your live stream. Um... Now, uh, let me put that, I'm going to put that live stream in my uh, catch-up list as well. And uh, I'll go through that when I go through Butler Family Farms also. Um, this creator is monetized. Lots of ways to support him, including Super Chats and memberships, of course. And working on 2,500 subscribers. Pardon me just for a second here. And when we look at just Jason Keto and more, we see the live stream. Sometimes Jason's uh, by himself giving us informative, uh, informative content when it comes to the idea of um, keto-based diet or lifestyle and healthy eating and healthy living. But he also brings a lot of guests onto the channel as well for live streams and clips out those videos. So we get a bit of both. He's got a vibrant community that will also be very encouraging in the chat when we participate as well. So hopefully everybody will connect with Just Jason Keto and more. He's been an over-the-top, generous, loyal, and dedicated supporter. And um, yeah, I didn't realize you were tied up, Jason, I, when I first sent a message to you on Instagram. But there's a chance, there's a chance that I might end up meeting with uh, Just Jason Keto and more. This weekend for the second time. I met up with him just a couple of months ago. Um, so hopefully everybody will connect with him. We're going to go for three and a half minutes. Let me see who's coming up next. I'll add some more names to the wheel in a moment. we still got another 25 minutes to go or so. And I will leave this live stream running 
for an extra three minutes like I always do so that everybody can clean up their connections here and we will run over to our copyright free music channel for anybody who hasn't already seen it all the same music that you hear in the background of tuber chat is available as copyright free music that you can use in your videos and live streams we have a separate channel for that with a virtual 24 hour live stream going and all of the music is published on all major music platforms as well so it's easy to find monica lynn alaska my heart i'm going to get you on the wheel with a few more names we'll be back in three and a half minutes to look at fagio to king naruto luffy goku All right, we're back. We're looking at Fage Yoda King, Naruto, Luffy, Goku. And this is a creator who happens to be live right now. They're doing some PS5 gameplay. They're here with us frequently just about every single day. They do a mix of animations and gameplay on their channel. I dropped a link there for a raid. So what we'll do is anybody can head over there whenever you want. But we'll go over there together in another 15 minutes or so. Pardon me again, just for a moment. Oh, I'm not drinking enough today. 
Yeah, the shirt change is, uh, is hilarious. It's because I pre-recorded a couple of segments as an experiment a few weeks ago. I keep reusing them. I got a better idea to make that look a little bit better. But it saves my voice a little bit. You can hear we're running out for today. And, um... <laughs> Yes, look, uh, you guys are making me laugh. Uh, Face Yoda King Naruto Luffy Goku's on the screen right now. I added some names to the wheel, so Monica Lynn Alaska, my heart's a member. I put them on. Plush Rush Inc. is brand new in the chat today. I've got them on the wheel, and Jesse Miller Unboxings and more is also there. Um, now, when we look at Face Yoda King Naruto Luffy Goku, like I said, this creator's with us frequently. They've got 5,000 videos on their channel, my dear goodness they're posting frequently uh but they live stream as well frequently i'm just going to grab one of their latest animation videos i'll put this in my catch-up list and then that will help me get caught up with them shorts on the channel some of these have done really well 10,000 11,000 13,000 it's pure variety over here with those animations making up the bulk of what they're doing and then ps5 gameplay Part of me is also frequent on the channel. They seem to be doing these multiple times a day, actually. So hopefully everybody will connect with this creator. They're obviously another loyal and dedicated supporter. They're here with us frequently. Becoming Vermont, good to see you in the house. Thank you for coming in. We'll spin uh, the wheel. Plush Rush Inc. is coming up right now. Like I said, a brand new channel in the chat. Um, now, I don't watch videos or subscribe while I live stream, but what I'm going to do is put your channel on the screen right now. I'm going to dig through your latest videos and live streams. I'm just going to see what you've got going on here. What I'll do is I'll take your latest video. I'm going to put that in my watch later list. What that will allow me to do is after the live stream today, I'll go through my watch later list. I'll watch your video in full. I'll leave you a meaningful, genuine comment related to the content of that video. I'll give you a thumbs up, subscribe, and put your notification bell on like we do for all creators. That should make our connection stick. And then hopefully you have our notification bell on as well so you don't miss our further live streams. We're usually here at least three times a week. We mix up the days and times so that we can meet different creators from around the world in different time zones. I've also set notifications for your live streams. I see you've got one coming up tomorrow. A uh, little bit late for me, but I'll try to catch it if I can. And then I see you've got another one coming up um, in a few more days we always set notifications for everything we see even though we have notification bells on for every channel if you'd like to swap playlists with anybody in the chat please just simply say i am willing to swap playlists other creators should reach out to you and if you see somebody say that and you're willing please reach out to them everybody is free to make those arrangements independently and individually of course Monica Lynn Alaska My Heart gives us some insight into their channel. They're from Louisiana, but they have Alaska in their hearts, and this is hence the name of the channel. They bring us mostly outdoors. I'm just going to rerun this video that I've got here. I had a problem, I guess, running a lot of videos the other day uh, or yesterday. And... Uh, I'm just going to dig through their videos here for a second. I think I'm going to take another video. I'm just going to put this into my catch-up list as well to get another piece of content watched. Uh, Alaska My Heart, uh, Monica Lynn has been with us many times before and now is a friend of several months. And when we look at their shorts videos, we see that they've gotten into 3,500, 3,600, 3,700 views which is great to see. Lots of outdoor content there, a little bit indoors as well. And then live streams are something they've experimented with even just a week ago. So hopefully I'll catch you for another one of these if you're going to keep those up. And we've got notification bells on for every single channel, of course. Rebel River Cats, good to see you in the house. Rob's RC Cars, good to have you here as well. And uh, hopefully I haven't missed anybody in the chat. I'll spin the wheel. If I've missed anything in the chat that anybody's meant for me to see, like a question or a comment, just please mention it again with three thumbs up or at mention Tuber Chat Connect and Grow. That should help me see it a little bit easier. I'll keep my eyes open and hopefully catch it the next time around. We'll look at Jesse Miller Unboxings and more, who's another friend of well over three years. And this is somebody whose support has increased 
over the years. The reason why I say that is so that you can understand what kind of support you can expect back from a creator like this. She literally supports all of my channels. And I say that, again, just for your, to reinforce the idea. Um, Jesse Miller Unboxings and More brings a few independent unboxings, but most of what she's going to show us come from monthly subscription services. And most of us have seen these before, but they have subscription services literally for everything now. You can get socks, you can get books, you can get comics, you can get stickers, you can get um, snacks, jewelry, makeup, and all kinds of different stuff. And Jesse Miller Unboxings and More will mix these up and then in their shorts videos, they're going to feature a lot of the products that they find within those subscription boxes. You've got some beauty stuff here. You've got stationery. You've got snacks, jewelry, uh, and the list goes on. They are officially on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We always say you're officially on a road when you get to a 100 milestone. Since they're over 1,900, we know they're officially on the road to 2,000. We'd love to push them a little bit farther. And then when we look at live streams on the channel, we see that this creator brings these out once every month or two. So we'll keep our notification bells on and be ready to catch Jesse Miller unboxings and more the next time they decide to go live. I'm going to spin the wheel. I put Jeremy D-Day on there. He's another friend of four and a half years. He's been with us again today. You can imagine after 700 episodes of Tuber Chat, um, we got some friends now into the three and a half and four year mark that are still coming by as often as they can. I thought that Sam's Vlogs, Trains and More was going to get picked last there, but we're going to talk about their channel right now. If you haven't already given a thumbs up for today's live stream, I hope you will. They really do help. I hope everybody's always giving each other that thumbs up when you're out supporting each other. If you're on a phone, I know you have to turn the chat off to get that done, but you don't lose your place. It only takes a moment. I will appreciate it greatly. Even I have to be reminded to give that thumbs up from time to time, especially when I'm on a phone. And uh, Sam Slogs Trains and More is going to bring us a lot of train videos, as anybody would expect, a lot of vlogging in between. When he takes us for a look at a train, it could be indoors, it could be outdoors, it could be uh, videos of the trains themselves or the stations which they depart from. He might be giving us tips and tricks for our own train travels or vlogging. And he often brings us inside as well to give us a chance to get to know him. Shorts on the channel have gotten into 4,000, even 5,000, and almost 6,000 views. These bring pure variety like most creators. And then live streams on the channel feature... First of all, an eight-year YouTube anniversary, which is coming up. So I've got my notification on for that, of course. That's on the 22nd, which is going to be five days from now. Um, so I believe right on the weekend. Is that on Sunday? Or am I mistaken? Or is it going to be on Monday? Um, and then Sam's Hogs Trains and More is officially on the road to 2,000. So he's getting really close. I'm hoping we can push him a little bit farther towards that milestone. And then... Um, Sam's Hogs Trains and More, of course, has monetized lots of ways to support him, including Super Chats and memberships when we get to his channel. He is also here as a member and a moderator. Every moderator on this channel is a dear friend of mine. They have been for a long time. They all have different channels, and they all do different things. But one of the things that they all have in common is an overwhelming sense of generosity. And for that reason, when you visit any of their channels for premieres or live streams, you'll be welcome to meet more friends and family members for your own channel, the same way that we do here in Tuber Chat. Um, as promised, we're going to do a fourth shirt change here very quickly. The amazing M&G, good to see you in the house. For anybody that's brand new today in our chat and here for the first time, hopefully you're feeling welcome. We have a lot of dynamic creators here. Everybody will be willing to connect, so please don't be shy. You can reach out to anybody you'd like to in the chat, and if you take your time, meet people one by one and follow the instructions that you'll find in our video description. You'll find yourself with some new friends and family members for your channel in no time if that's what you would like. I spun the wheel just for fun there. Jeremy D-Day is up here right now. This is a creator that's actually got a couple of channels. He's been a friend of mine for well over four years before Tuber Chat was even a thought. 
But thank you, everybody, for the time that you spent today. I really do appreciate every moment everybody can be here. Uh, pardon the quick exit. My voice is at its limit for today, but we'll be back again on Friday, much later than usual. Uh, but that live stream's already set up, and I'll try to get the next couple set up. Uh, we expect to be going every other day for a few days, um, so we'll try to keep that going. So that means Friday, Sunday, and hopefully Tuesday, but we always post those in advance. Thank you to our moderators. YouTube, of, our Tuber Chat, of course, would not be able to be what it is without their help. And uh, I certainly appreciate every moment everybody can spend here. I hope you'll come over and visit our copyright free music channel. If you haven't already seen it, I've pinned the link, but I'll drop it one more time. When we look at Jeremy DD, we see a creator that's bringing us a lot of album reviews between a couple of channels, but he also does some shorts and vlogs here. Jeremy DD is the creator behind JD Night 7. And we'll look at that channel in a second but here he's got some shorts as well tons of variety here from jeremy with 27 uh, and 68 000 views and then when i look at his original channel jd night seven we're gonna see um oh did he change his avatar and i keep forgetting or am I mistaken? No, there he is. JD Knight 7. This is our friend Jeremy. Like I said, I've been connected to him for over four years now. So he's uh, got a channel that's really growing quickly. Uh, a lot of these album reviews on this channel. This is um, one of the first... I think this is the... Um, oh, Walking with a Panther. I don't remember the name of that album from LL Cool J. I'm trying to remember if I have it on vinyl record or not. Um... I put that video into my catch-up list. That'll give me a chance to run through that video or watch it when I have a chance before the next stream. As well, shorts on this channel. Some of these have done really well, getting into hundreds of thousands of views. And then live streams on the channel are something he's experimented with. And uh, we'll keep the notification bell on to see if he's going to do any more of those. Thank you, everyone, for the time that you spent. And we'll see you all again soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.